Ciao Juventini of the world, my name is Giuseppe, welcome back on the channel, mamma mia, I am excited, it's long time ago, you know what, because of the ma- No, it's because Marco is next to me, ciao Marco, how are you doing? What's up man, it's been too long, Giuseppe, uh, I, I always love, I, you know what I enjoy more, more than anything, just like our little conversations before we go live, it's, uh, it's been too long, I watch your videos every single day man. Every single day, so I'm re I'm ready to get into some arguments with you. Are, are you putting a maximum of like, Marco? No, I never put a like. Eh. I never put a like. Yeah, you, you know, it, eh, we are laughing now. But I was watching my son. He was watching a a YouTube of a YouTuber. Eh. He finished the YouTube video. He's closing. I said, "Did you like the video? No, you enjoyed. I mean, did you enjoy the video? Yeah, I enjoyed. Did you know the YouTuber before? No. Will you watch another video of him? Yeah." Did you subscribe? No. Did you put a like? No. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. True. It's true. I'm like that. I'll, I'll be honest. Ah, I got no volume. We're we're back. We're back to the basics over here. Are we back to the basics? Right, no, no, normally on, they should on, hear on. you. They should hear you. Yeah. Can you guys hear me? If you don't hear me, I'll make it louder. Oh, let me check if people are hearing you. Guys, confirm if you are hearing Marco because I have put the maximum of level of uh, volume for Marco now. You should let hear him know. better. Otherwise, I could raise it from my end too. Uh, Marvin, but yeah, I never, yes. I never, I never put likes on videos. It's very rare for me. That's strange. It's just the truth. That's it. It's I just put dislikes on all of yours. That's it. Ah, uh, it's a pity. All the people are confirming that they hear you perfectly. They were hearing you, all but right, a bit low. Marco, we have a lot right, of good. things to talk about. I don't want to talk about 21, 22 because it was a disaster. It was a disaster. And I know how difficult it was for you, for me, uh, and also for all the Juventini in the chat. Let me say hello. And you know what? The people, they will choose what topic we start with. Is that not a great idea? I like it. They like choose the topic, whatever. Huh? We have we have a lot of people, and huh? we have Dybala, Bernardeschi to Toronto, Di Maria, Don Deal, Pogba, Zagnolo, Zagnolo for Quadrado. Is it a team for Allegri? Yes or no? Kulibali, the list. We have so many names. You choose, guys, what we speak about. But let me first say hello to Alberto Pereira, to Styler, who's saying Beppe the Goat, Suleiman is there, Oleg from Ukraine, Abi, Anthony Trimboli that just get married and he's always on the channel. Your wife will kill you ciao rocco to glory my buddy with a really amazing profile picture of you uh, beppe with the ikea t-shirt i love that that's a beautiful one rocco r becomes robert is there cliff our buddy ciao cliff grande cliff thomas anthony Mista, Gravush, always there, GTA, if you have questions for Marco, guys, you go and you ask Marco, uh, you know that he did an amazing trip to Italy, he spoke with a lot of people from a lot of teams, and I see that a lot of people are already starting to ask you, Marco, to start a debate about Matthias De Ligt, eh, this is what they are choosing at the moment, Matthias De Ligt, Hamtam, GTA, Stavros, uh, Strasdas, McKenny, they all want you to speak about De Ligt. So the, the one funny thing, uh, well, actually, by the way, before I say that, I know I, I joked about not liking the videos, but since I don't like the videos, everyone in the chat right now has to like the videos. This is like the one thing that Beppe cares about. He always says put maximum likes, maximum likes. All right. We're, we're just starting this live stream. Let's get everyone to run those likes up. We'll make we'll make Giuseppe happy for once. This is the only thing we're going to do for him. Guys, but, uh, if later we reached a bit later, because now we just started, but if it, a bit later we reached, I don't know. 150 or maybe 200 likes, Marco will sing Mercato is crazy. Oh, I sing it every single day in the shower, so I know. I'll just do it here. What about the Licht? Yo, I'm not going to lie. By the way, that song is unbelievable. The first time that I saw you sing it, I was like, instant banger. And then you just took it to the next level. It was good when you just did like acapella. And then you you have like people that wrote it, right? Colo made a music video. Man, yeah, that, that was the best thing out of everything you've ever done. That might be number one. Did you did you hear the sad version of uh, Mercato? Is I did, I did. That was it was funny with was the funny. piano. That's like when when the players leave and stuff. Is that why? Yeah, it's it's amazing because I was not even expecting it. And uh, a subscriber from the channel he sent me an email. He said, "Beppe, that's for you." The piano sad version. I said to that's him, so "Thank funny. you. I hope I will never use it." Eh, unfortunately, yeah. that day we heard about the delete uh, about about the delete news. 
Oh my gosh. By the way, you got a member. You got a new member. I have a, no, they, you know what they do? They renew because okay. Dybala, he didn't renew. Bernardeschi did, didn't <laughs> renew. Here on the <laughs> channel, they re, they renew the membership. So, Mista, thank you. Thank you for renewing on the channel. Sixth consecutive month. Mamma mia. Grande wow. Mista. Wow. Sometimes it's good for them not to renew, by the way, though. Not, not the people. I'm saying the players that you mentioned. The Sometimes players, it's good when the they players. don't renew. Here, here on the channel, they have to renew. Uh, they have to renew. Uh, <laughs> that I agree with. Those are the renewals. Don't take, you know, don't agree in October and then you wait until February, you know, and your agent has to negotiate. No, just just do it right away. We renew it even expire. Uh, otherwise, Anton yeah. will come and, you know, you will finish at Inter. And then yeah. Inter, even Inter, they will say, no, we don't want to go to Monza. Huh? Pay attention. They got to fly. <laughs> they got to fly to Belgium every single time. They, they can't do it on, on social media, on the Internet. That 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 whole transfer was why I know we're going to start with the league, but by the way, just just to put a bow on it. That was ridiculous. It is ridiculous. Uh, thank you, GTA, for extending as well. Grande GTA Bianconero. Go for it, Marco. The leaked. Where where are we gonna start? Where where do you want to start? You you want to update people on? You want me to say what the latest news is? Bah, the people the people they know about the leaked. Uh, but we we can understand because here they are going. They are all renewing. Yeah. So I want to say thank you to GTA for nine months and also Anthony Quintero who is saying Marco and Beppe you must renew. Cracks both of them. Uh, of course you renewed Grand Anthony Quintero nine months. But the the, the frame the frame is super easy for the leaked. Huh? He spoke with you at the Juventus Stadium, and since that mm. day, he's not happy anymore. What did you tell him, Marco? <laughs> <laughs> this is the truth. You don't want to know. <laughs> he's going to come to MLS next. He's going to come to Brooklyn over here. Since the day that you spoke with him, everything collapsed. He want to leave. I don't know what Man, you told so him. Negative. You see, you see the wrong way. You see the wrong way. Don't just look at me. You know, I, I at that point, I kept telling you, I was like, oh, he's never going to leave. <laughs> literally, literally what I told you, I think we, because, okay, we don't do videos, right? We haven't done a video in a long time, but we text like so often, like a, a bunch of times a week. And like what, the one thing I told you, I was like, captain, future captain, he's staying. And look at, look what happened. So yeah, maybe, but, maybe I did do something. No, yeah, but it's true huh? because the last time we spoke about the league, he, he, he was captain. He was, everyone yeah. wants to, wanted to the league to be the future captain. They were pissed off when Bonucci was elected like uh, the future captain or the the captain for this season. You spoke to him and he's gone. It is what it is. <laughs> well, what do you think about uh, him leaving Marco a bit a bit more seriously? Uh, uh, He's making the right choice, especially if you are hearing the names that we are talking about. Uh, Pogba, Di Maria, Don Deal, and yeah. we will speak about them, of course. But uh, Don Deal may, may be Koulibaly. We are speaking about so many names. Is he doing the right choice or not? So I, I, I'll, I'll admit, this one, it, it kind of hurt. You know, we could see players leave and, and oftentimes I'm not too phased. The league was one of the guys that... I remember the time that we signed him from Ajax, I was huge on the move. I said, this is a, a move for the future. He's one of the best future captains. He's got, I know that he loves to go up and he loves to attack. And one of the things that he always says is that, you know, his mentality was always to push forward and to want to score more goals. But he still had that like old school defender in him where he's not scared to go into challenge. He loves to be aggressive, sometimes to a fault, I will admit. And we saw these like little mistakes that he had made throughout these years of being on Juventus. But now that, you know, he's he could be saying goodbye, and I think that he will end up leaving in the summer. It hurts just because it kind of feels like he's he's not really been at Juventus. Like, True. there was a team around him that he was constantly changing the back line. The rest of the squad was really not good enough. He was a kid who came into the squad, and he wanted to build with them. And mm -hmm. he kind of was thrown into a situation where I feel like the rest of the team was still finding themselves as this young kid was trying to find himself as well. So it feels like a lost opportunity. And Honestly, though, I don't blame De Ligt that he would want to leave Juventus at the same time. Because for him, you got to think, what is he, 22, 23 years old? He wants the ambition to fight in the Champions League. And if we think about it realistically, you know, I know, Beppe, your heart, every, every year that you start the season, I'm sure you think, all right, Juventus could go on to win the Champions League. But if you're honest with yourself, there are other teams that are in a more advanced stage to try to push for that. And I think De Ligt is kind of just looking at the situation and he's like, I don't want to stay in a place if I'm not going to be fighting for that. I will ask you a question. 
I will provoke you. But first of all, I just want to acknowledge Chris Juve at 07 that is also sending me some message on Instagram sometimes. Chris, I saw your message that you had a problem with uh, apparently with a membership. Text me later on Instagram. We will watch it uh, together. We'll see what we what happened because at the moment I don't see it. So let's see after the live, uh, Chris, uh, you send me a message on Instagram and check. Uh, Marco, I will provoke you about that. Is De Ligt leaving Juventus? Or is De Ligt leaving Serie A? De Ligt is leaving... I mean, he's leaving both, but it's he's leaving Juventus. But that's, his, that's main, what it is. his main motivation between be, behind leaving Juve... At the end, he's leaving Juve. Is it because he wants to go to a Premier League, for example, where qualitatively, we have to say, it, at the moment, it's really trendy. Mm -hmm. They have the stadium, they have more exposure in terms of broadcasting and so on. Or you go to a Bayern where it's a different situation because Bundesliga is not much better than Serie A. But yeah. Bundesliga, if you go to Bayern Munich, you know that you can even go in an instant team that is able not only to win the Bundesliga, but also competing for Champions League. So what is his real motivation, you believe? No, I, I get what you mean, but I, I don't think that it's about that. I think It's purely because I think he will go to Bayern. He will go to he would go to Real Madrid. He would go to any team that's going to fight in Champions League. He's a very ambitious guy, and that's what he values. And he's also he's a simple guy too. Like even when I did speak to him, he loved Torin, Tur Torino. Like he loved Turin. He said, "My my girlfriend, I we agree. feel calm here. We could walk around the streets and like nobody bothers." He's not like that type of guy that goes out and parties. Like at least that's that's my understanding of him. So I don't think it's really – it's anything like that. I don't think it's off the field. I just think he's a very ambitious dude that wants to fight and compete in the Champions League. And if we're honest with ourselves, I mean, he went further with Ajax than he did with Juventus it's in true. these past couple of years. It's so. true. Do you, who, who do you think that will regret it the most? Juventus? Juventus. Or him? You, you think so, that Juventus will – Okay, hold on, hold on. I think that I'm okay with the league leaving if you get a certain number. Like the some of the figures, I think anything under 100 million, I wouldn't even consider. I would just you have to play hardball at one time because you paid 75, 85 million for him, right? You cannot sell him for anything at, at that fee. Juventus should sit in their position and be like, you're the one that wants to leave, but we will only sell you if you either trigger the release clause or you get to like 100 million and whatever you throw in a player or two. That's the only thing where I'll be disappointed is if they would take like a 70 million or 80 million cash. Or some of the wild players that they wanted to. Who, who was who was linked with Juventus? Who was the player from Chelsea that they were going to throw in? Werner. Yeah, no, come on, come on. Uh, especially no. if especially if they give you 40 million plus Werner. But I think that Juventus made it really clear: eh? give us the money, or you don't see the player. Which is totally yeah. different than a few years ago. You remember how many players did we take, and we said, if you want to leave for free, go, go. Like we you did hate it You hate Marotta. It's not about yeah, you, you Marotta. Have, every time I watch your videos, you always find a way to throw him under the bus. Bro, he's <laughs> it's still not only Marotta. No, he's still the best. Yeah, it is. Yeah, but you it know is. why? Know you know why? I will tell you the truth. There can be true. only one Beppe. Hey. I knew you were going to say that. I was, about, <laughs> I was about to chime in. I swear. I was going to say, you just don't like that he shares your name. I don't he's like that. Beppe, though. I know, because he's people, Beppe. you know, uh, there, were, there was something that I, I don't remember. AJ on Twitter, he was writing like, uh, yeah, yeah. Grazie Beppe, and then, or thank you Beppe. And then everyone said, wrong, wrong Gigi Stuve. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they are linking the name. I don't like that. Javier, gracias Javier para la donación. He's asking, I think that De Ligt is leaving because he's afraid to lose his spot in the national team he will probably want to stand out more in a better league mm, i don't know about that because i start marco and then you can add if you want to for me the league is an undiscussed starter at juventus and also when you hear himself speaking juventus before all the talks about him maybe wanting to leave It, they had a really clear plan for him. Short term, long term. Short term being the leader really of the defense. Longer term, starting to be also a captain or starting to enter that rotation of being a captain. I don't believe that's the reason. I, am I wrong? No, I agree with you. I'm with you. My, my bigger question for you, do you blame the league for wanting to leave Juventus? Emotions aside, if you're, if you're a young kid like that, do you blame him? I really love the Ligt, huh? uh, 
nearly as much as Anneke. Because if I have to choose Anneke, the girlfriend is top level. Eh? She's top level. We, we can't say that. It's really beautiful uh, girl. Eh? Intelligent. Uh, uh, mom, I mean, all right, Anneke, all right, bro. I will miss, I will <laughs> miss right. Anneke a lot. So let's talk about Delicht. Let, uh, well, let's focus about Delicht. <laughs> <laughs> but Delicht, um, you know, I was in the car. I was driving. I was thinking. I was sad. I was really sad. Uh, not a lot of player they leave. I don't care. No, it's not that I don't care because at the end I spent like 120 euro for the shirt, so I care. I want them to stay Stop long. Buying at jerseys, Juve. by the way. I saw that post that you did. I I will give you the names that you can buy jerseys of and put the names on because yeah, everyone you buy just turns out terrible. Hey, then you will tell me Alexandro and Decilio. Yeah. I was gonna add Rabiot in there too. And Rabiot, your boy. Rabiot will your leave. Your favorite Rab player. Rabiot will leave. Uh, no, no, I'm, I was super sad. I would have loved to have him like uh, at least two more years because I, I really love the league. I believe he's really a great player that could have been the the future. I will not change so you didn't my narrative. My question. Huh? What What is your question? My question is: Do you blame him? Do you no. blame the league for wanting to leave? No, I can understand him. Uh, I will never be angry. I can understand him in a way. But according to me, and that's my version, that's why I was provoking you, I believe that his real motivation behind is more like, let's try to go in another league. I have learned what I had to learn in Serie A. Let's have a bit more uh, exposure. That's what I believe. And, and uh, of course, I will blame him uh, at a certain moment. But honestly, <laughs> honestly, I understand. It's just a pity that you start a project that failed. Yeah. We, exactly. we know it. We spoke about it, about Ronaldo. Mm -hmm. COVID, we made own yep. mistake because Juventus did own mistakes. At the end, you have a player that, as you said in the beginning, we had there and we never saw at the top. And this yep. could have been the year. So, hey, it is what also, it is. By the way, I, I knew that you were mad when you wrote the de liked when you spelt it with the the G H T. I was, I was like, that that's when you were mad. That was a tweet that you definitely had in your drafts for a little while. You didn't know if you should tweet it or or not. And now that he looks like he's gonna go, that that's why you did it. Yeah, yeah. That's your trigger word right there. When everyone, I have always seen you every time like Gazetta wrote it wrong or something. You go. I was pissed off. Huh? It was the leak. Now it became the light. If he leaves, it's the, the light. light. Otherwise, it's the leak. Yeah. Fed, I saying all questions, uh, all fans question Mr. Mo El Tactico, Bonyani's agent, about his client future in the Juve world. Mr. Mo confirmed Bonyani extended his contract with Juve. <laughs> Thank you for the donation, yeah. Fed. Yeah. Thank you. And then he's also asking, uh, he's also sending a message for you. He's asking, my Marco, can you move your car, please? You are blocking my driveway. <laughs> nah, not true. Trust me. I, I, I am very aware of where my car is parked at all times being in Brooklyn, and I have to move it many times a day. So it's not in your driveway, bud. We, we, we have another goat in the channel, uh, Colo, Colo, Dan, who is saying two goats. Love you guys. Grande Colo. Hey, I'm meeting, I'm meeting Colo again. I met him before, but I'm seeing him this week, actually. I'm going to Toronto, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to link up with Colo. You coming? Hey, I would love to come. I would love to come. So come. In Toronto, huh? Yeah, we could do this in person. That would be fantastic. Guys, you said 100 and... By the way, it's one like away. You said that they had to get 150 likes to sing Mercato's Crazy. If we get to 250 likes, Giuseppe needs to come to Toronto. And we'll do a live stream from there. No, no, 250. We have usually yeah. 250. That's too, too easy. Well, uh, no, I'm setting the terms. You set the first terms. Hey, 250, 150 is, is probably so easy for you. No, no, no. We need, we need at least... Let's see how quick they get it. We, we have 364 people at the moment watching. If Take we have 364, as, uh, I go to Toronto. You just, you just hop on the fly, flight with Federico. You'll be fine. You By the way, let's change. Let's speak about the Federico Bernardeschi we, really fast and not too long. Uh, a move to Toronto with... Uh, Criscito, he started at Juventus as a youth player. Bernardeschi played at Juve, so they have some a link. And Insigne is a Juve fan. So three Juventini that are going to Toronto. It's a beautiful move, no? That's wild. That's wild. I know. I never expected it. They're just going crazy. They So Toronto, I've never been. But like I said, I'm going for the first time um, uh, this week. And they have like the most intense Italian um um fan base and and like outside of italy i think it's the most passionate italians i've ever seen and i'm coming from new york where oftentimes people think like new york italians are like the biggest but they have so much pride in where they come from and they stuck to their roots a lot so i think toronto fc is very smart into leaning into the italian fan base and hey like we said jovinko killed it 
when he went to MLS. Absolutely. So, Bernadeschi, I'm not going to say that he's going to be like Jovinko, but I don't. I also don't blame the guy too. It's like at this point, I mean, I think that if if I was in that position, you, I understand why you would want to stay in Serie A, but he can become the guy in MLS because he's so young. I think he's doing the right move. I really believe he's doing the right move because in Italy, he could have gone to Napoli, but they have some problems to reach a salary. So what team could he go? It's difficult for him. He, could, he should have gone, you know, like a low oh. table team. He's 28. Instead, he's going to, the, uh, to grow the movement in Toronto, earning more money, having a beautiful quality of life in English, learning the language, also important for the future. And he loves, it's also one that when he was on holiday, he was traveling also to US and so on. Oh yeah, so, that's true. So he knows the culture. He can oh, yeah, go there with that. the guitar and the baby and, and do it. Yeah, I, I think it's a right move for Bernadeschi. A lot. He needs, he, the one thing I'll say about Bernadeschi is he needs a change of scenery. He needs to like do something really left field. The thing is, uh, Giuseppe, you're saying it's a right move. He's 28 years old and he's still, you know, I know he never became that player which is not surprising. He was also at Juventus. But don't you think he still has a lot to give? How can you leave Serie A? Because once you leave, it becomes so hard to be able to come back. I agree. No, no, then it's over. Huh? It's over. But do you think he has also a future with La Nazionale? He won the Euro no. with Italy. You know, he, his thing is done here. It's over. So let me read that one from Fedja. Thank you, Fedja, who's saying, love you guys. When both of you uh, was in the final, I said I want them both to win. All my friends said, no, only one will win. In the end, both <laughs> are won. It's correct. These were beautiful memories, eh, Marco? That's true. Those are fun times. They were. Guys, they were. I will be always grateful because uh, sometimes we, we don't say it enough. Huh? Uh, but really... A few moments together with Marco, we participated with, uh, I believe, 14 other participants to the contest of uh, uh, Pitch for Twitch for Juventus being host. And uh, I knew Marco from before. We didn't have the same contact as today, of course. We knew each other. And when I saw Marco, I was really shitting my pants because I said, oh, my God. Why is he there? Why is he there? Because he's really great, really great and amazing. And uh, uh, at the end, you know, the fact that we both won, that we were forming a duo on the Twitch channel was something epic because I learned a lot from Marco how to speak, how to, to, to do things on, on live and streaming and also the relationship. So I can today say that uh, we, are, we have a great relationship and we can call ourselves friends. We never agree on topics, mm -hmm. but I'm super happy. Thank you, Marco, no, for what you did for me. All right, I'm going to give you one compliment and then we're, we're going to go back to disagreeing and, and hating each other. But I will say for the people out there, I knew Giuseppe just from online, just from Twitter. You know, we used to go back and forth in, in the DMs and I think we were still texting or whatever. But getting to know you, I can honestly say you're one of the most like incredible people that I've met on this platform. And genuinely, you're such a good dude. And you're, you're just like a real person. Like you're a person that I know I would be friends with instantly if we grew up together. Uh, so one of the best things that's come out of Twitter, and I know we have to complain about social media, we complain about all the things, and it definitely has its its drawbacks. You're one of the people that I look and I'm like, all right, I'm happy I'm on this platform. So thank you to you too. Grande. Let's speak about uh, uh, another topic. Who do you want to choose? Chat, choose between. Uh, let's speak about funny things. Di Maria, Pogba, Zagnolo, or Koulibaly. Who do you want to speak about? Yeah, let, let, the chat, uh, let the chat cook. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I speak like the young guys. Huh? I, I'm learning yeah. the terms. Did you? Did you like your son taught you that or something? No, my son. No, my son is speaking French. He speaks English now. Also, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, but together at home we are speaking French. So people are saying, Beppe, we have to speak about. Wait, huh? Pogba, 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 Koulibaly, Zagnolo, <laughs> Zagnolo, Koulibaly, Pogba, Koulibaly. I see. Uh, wait, why you? Why you is saying? Morata, no, I don't want to talk about Morata, why you? Uh, speak about Zagnolo. Pavel, Pavel Sopa is asking Zagnolo. Let's go with Zagnolo. Do you see that funny comment by King Keza, by the way? Lukaku and Gazzetta relationship. Eh, mamma mia. The, he's, saying you, he's saying like you and I, you know? That's the, I know that's another one of your trigger words eh, like no, that. Oh you, my you know, gosh, that... you get so mad. <laughs> Marco. Why wait... do you read it? Why do you even read the Gazetta? Like, that's because I, I need to know what I'm they are saying about videos, Juve. I have to mad. defend Juve. No, you don't. Just don't read it. It's going to make you mad. No, and today It'll I'm dressed in pink for the Gazetta, by the way. No, I'm pissed <laughs> off. 
I'm pissed off with Gazeta de los Sport. I know you are. They are you putting they are often. putting naked picture of Lukaku and they are offering subscription Money. one year to the Inter fans that are subscribing with season ticket holder. It's not okay. It's not okay, Gazeta de los Sport. <laughs> Mamma mia. They're... Chill. Hey, yeah. no. Relax. Breathe. Hey, no. Breathe. You know, when, when you are... Right. No. No. Don't worry. Relax. But they are making beautiful graphics. I like the graphics inside. That's true. Double page. If you just looking... want to be mad, no, you just no. want to. You just want to be mad. That's it. That's no, what I no. understand. You know. You know. You know what I'm thinking about Gazette. They are manipulating the mass. They are brainwashing. They oh have a gosh. laboratorium in Milano, Aye. in the minus one in the basement. When they are, you know, there are all techniques and computers and things like that. How can we manipulate and brainwash so that people they hate you? That's what they are doing. There is a special. You, you believe the world is uh, flat too. I believe in no no the world not the the world is round and that's why the interista they are below and we are on top that's the that's why I believe the world is round <laughs> Marco let me say thank you to uh, Arif that just extended for 9 months who is saying who else is exciting about our first signing Bonyani <laughs> thank you Arif for the extension of the uh, of the contract of the contract of the renewal of the membership thank you Arif Marco tell me uh yeah. Not about Gazzetta and Lukaku. Zaniolo. Tomorrow, tomorrow, let's see if they will put some clothes on Lukaku. <laughs> But about Zaniolo, I want to know about Zaniolo. Yeah, this is, a, this is an interesting one. I, I have a feeling we'll disagree on, uh, on Zaniolo. So I'll say Zaniolo was always, I always liked him. For, I remember his debut in the Champions League against Real Madrid. I remember watching it and I was like, this kid is really good. I always, I watched him super closely because I thought he was an, a young, talented Italian player. And he just had something about him that was charismatic and was exciting to watch. The thing is, now when I look at the deal, I don't know how much sense it makes for Juventus. Number one, for me, 50 million is a lot. It's a lot. I know you're going to tell me the terms, whatever, they'll pay in installments. 50 million is a lot for a player that I have two problems with Zaniolo. I have two problems. And I like the player a lot. I like him a lot. I just don't know for Juventus. Two, two issues. 50 million for a guy who's torn his ACL two times scares me. I'm not saying that he can't, he's not healthy. I, I have no idea. I, I hope that he stays healthy, and, and, and I really, really do, because he's a great player. That scares me to put 50 million euros down on a guy like that. The second one is, what's his real position? I, you know, I struggle to, to figure out what position he plays. Sometimes he's on the wing. Uh, you know, he started as an attacking midfielder or more box to box that likes to go up. Boniek says he's a classic number nine. What position does he really play? And where would he play at, Ju at Juventus? Those I two things, they I make my me doubt. Theories. All right, let's hear it. Uh, no, I, first of all, I launched a poll about Zaniolo. You have three choices, guys, in the chat. Top signing, don't do it. Don't do it. You're going towards a Marco. Top signing, you are going towards me. Or you have the third choice is, I don't care. I'm here for the vibes. You choose, guys. <laughs> you have three choices. Let's see. At the, at the moment, people, they started immediately with top signing with 52%. I love that. No, you know what I'm thinking? That Zaniolo to Juve will go in two phases. The first one will be waiting for Federico Chiesa. Because we will not see a Federico Chiesa before January I mean, at better levels. Of course, you will already start part, part of the game and so on. Then you know how it is. Huh? You start and you have a, a muscle fatigue. You have to wait. But until then, I believe that Zaniolo will play on the right side with Di Maria on the left in offensive trio. And then gradually, I believe that Allegri wants to take down Zaniolo playing as a box-to-box -box with Pogba on the left box-to-box, -box, Zaniolo on the right box-to-box. -box. And that will be beautiful. Today I saw in Avant Première, guys, really, Colo 99, just wait for it. When he will publicly launch the video of Zaniolo, I'm, I'm, I'm not lying, eh? it's one of his best videos. I saw the video. Oh, you saw it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He sent me the link for the private, mamma mia. The guy, he's physical, he's fast, he can dribble, he has everything. He has everything except of the right foot because he's really a left foot player. But for me, he's really great. And that's what I think he will do. Starting there, waiting for Chiesa. Chiesa is coming back. Di Maria goes on the right. Zaniolo there. Because Allegri, you know, eh, he loves these physical players that are able to go vertical. 
And, you know, if you have Pogba and Locatelli that are staying behind when Zaniolo is going up, or Zaniolo is staying with Locatelli when Pogba is going up, it's not bad, huh? Mm, but I you sacrifice. I, I how much I agree. You sacrifice McKenny. I, f- I feel like you're going to have. Well, that's okay. I think sacrificing McKenny is okay, but I think it's got to be for the right player. For me, the issue is like what you said. I, th- I feel like he's going to become another Kulusevsky where I'm not saying that he's not talented. I'm not saying he's not a good player, but then you never see him in the position that's best for him. And you have that question mark over where it is. I, that's that's my personal opinion. I under- I was looking at the midfield. I said, okay, maybe Pogba, Locatelli, and Zaniolo together. But for me, it still lacks balance. Both Pogba and Zaniolo, they like to go up. I know we're saying Zaniolo, he could stay back, but he, that's not his tendencies. He likes right. to go up. He's always running. He sometimes overdoes it because he pushes sure. so far up. I don't know if the three of them can have the balance to be even defensive enough. And we know that Allegri, you know, tends to like to be a little bit more defensive. Is it an upgrade? Yes. But again, I still think that you're lacking a problem. And for 50 million euros, I just feel like you should be a little bit more sure on how the player fits a system a little bit better. The injuries don't scare you? Uh, yes, yes, of course, of course. Uh, that's one of the things that that's one of the things that I'm really scared of more than the position because at the end you will find a position for Zaniolo. I'm 100%. I agree with you that it's an ultra-offensive team with Pogba, Zaniolo, even Locatelli that loves to go up as well when he has, when he can. Sounds realistic. So it's it's true that it's it's a bit scary, huh? Unbalanced, especially if we are talking about uh, the guy here behind. You don't see him today. <laughs> the, the, g- the guy. No, no. If you are speaking Is about uh, here, uh, this guy here. Oh, Allegri, I thought you were gonna say, and, especially with the league leaving too. And uh, also, but we will yeah. get Koulibaly. And all will be okay. But it, it, it's true. It's true that if you if you have that, it can be a bit unbalanced. On the other side. Let's see, but I, I'm super convinced what is scaring me the most is the injury. And that's where Juventus will have to be negotiated really, really well. If you're taking on loan, you need at least to have some targets, you know, like uh, if he reached so many appearances or not, because otherwise, eh, and I will tell you even more, and this is the pessimist in me, Pogba comes from a lot of injuries. Zagnolo as well. Federico Chiesa is a big question mark. Mm. the season, the complete season of Juve was a drama in terms of injuries. So if you are adding, adding, adding and taking risks, that can be a big problem for you. At the end of the season, you will be, you know, like you will really play with Miretti, Sule and uh, the winter. And then uh, people will be happy. People on Twitter will be very happy. (laughs) Twitter will be happy, but not me. I know that. I know another one of your triggers too is saying Di Maria is injury prone. I know, don't tell me that. And, uh, yeah, because last, last time I had a no, fight. No, he is. He is. Come on, he hasn't been playing. Last year, he didn't play. <laughs> it's not, man, why, on, did, why was he not playing, Marco? He, was, <laughs> he didn't have he, anybody else good in front of him. Come on, what's wrong with you? He was not playing because he had <laughs> Messi, Mbappé, Neymar, Pelé, oh. Prime Maradona in front of him. How do you want him to play? It was impossible. Guys, no, no, no. He's not injury prone. He's Rabona. By the way, okay, let's do... Let's do, because we have a message here. I will read the one of Allen in a second. But Ryan is saying, Di Maria could be in Turin this Friday. Romeo Agresti. Okay, how many... Guys, note it down and you come back in one, one year. How many Rabona assists will Di Maria do in Serie A? You know the Rabona? Yeah, you want me to show Rabona. you? Yeah. Show me. No, no, it's too late. You're going to say, yeah, I don't have space. I can't. No, dance. hey, hey, you're, hey, guy, Marco, I have space now. Look. Oh, okay. You were supposed to do a dance like a long time ago. You told me you were going to show me like Samba. It's because I had no space. Now I have uh, the space. Uh, there's always an excuse with you. No, I have always no excuse. I, now always I something. can dance. Look. Let's see a little dance. I can dance. Mercato is crazy. Can... Uh, Let me play it. Let me play it. Let me play it. Here. By the way, it's coming on Friday. How many Rabona assists will he do, Marco? Um, zero. Ma, ma no. Zero. No, no, no. I'm just here to bother you. Aldo it's Bonasso really is saying zero. Alwi Rando is saying five. At 64 is saying two. Marvin is saying three. 
Nero Ghost, 6 first season, 0 for Thomas, why you 11, why you? That's a bit too much, 11. Why you? Why you? I love the name. <laughs> Stylers, <laughs> 2, great. Pinking, 3, Stavros, 2, Baller, 7. I go with in Serie A, 2. Total all competitions, 3. Is this what people come to the channel for? For you to guess how many Rabona assists Di Maria does? Yes. No wonder I haven't liked the video of yours. If you watch Zagnolo closely, you can see him with any contact on him. He fell on the ground. Looks like he's still scared to be injured. Hey, you saw a lot of uh, Roma games uh, this season, uh, Marco. Is that mm. is that correct? Because I saw the video. I never of, uh, noticed. I didn't notice neither. No. I didn't notice. Thank you for. Your Alan, I think, is on a higher level. I think Alan, you know, he's 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 studying the the tactics. He's analyzing on a way higher level than us. I mean, we just sing, dance, and uh, guess how many Rabonas Di Maria will, will get. But I can agree eh, to a certain extent that, of course, you are coming from two different, two big injuries mm -hmm. that you avoid a bit the contact. I can understand that. Mm -hmm. But I have to say it's a player that is quite physical, quite explosive. It's a player. I don't. I. I'm not scared for him to to avoid physical contact, especially not after one year because now he, he was not injured this season except of some time that he was in rotations and so on he didn't uh, suffer big uh, injury so no i'm not scared so marco for you it's a no or a yes Zagnolo? it for me it's a it's a no it's a no too many question marks and i still i haven't been sold on it i like the player a lot i like him a lot that's the thing that hurts is because i really think he's he's fun player to watch but no, I don't. I don't know for Juventus, but hey, listen, it, it could work out. I, I think he's definitely got the talent, and I think Juventus. It makes sense why they're after him, just because you could see they're trying to get like a a younger Italian core. You know, if you look at some of the signings that they've been trying to go for, so I'm not that surprised. <laughs> and I even have been saying it as a joke, like a couple months back. I was like, watch, Juventus will get rid of DiBala, and then they'll end up getting Zaniolo, who and spend 50 million for him. But by the way, one thing for anyone that's new that's joining. We have a challenge right now. When we get to 300 likes, Giuseppe has 364, already committed. 364, we said. No, no, no. We said when we get to 300 likes, Giuseppe is going to book his flight to Toronto. I already got his hotel booked. He's ready. But um, he will officially go to Toronto. He's going to meet with me and, and with Colo. So everyone who's watching right now, just leave a like if you want to see that content. And, and you'll book it live, right? You'll what what, what share, is the date? Tell me the date. Tell me the date. The, the dates are the 7th to the 11th. And that's in two days. Yes, in two days. That's fine. It's quick. You don't have to worry about it. And so IFTV will sponsor me. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Come on. Well, you're getting on the plane with Federico. With but Federico do, do, Bernard, do I need, we already do I got need that. A... And, and Mike, Mike has an extra bed in his room, so you could sleep with him. And do I need a visa? Probably, yes. Nah, you're there for a couple of days. I don't think so. Let's check. Eh, we will fix that later. But first, 364 likes. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. How many? 364. We said 300. No. I think we said 250 and I pushed it to 300. By the way. Let's see. By the way. I, I would not say no to go to Toronto. Mamma mia. Eh, then I will Ivan say. I w then, can I ask a question to Insignia if I'm there or not? Yeah, yeah, go for it. What are you gonna ask? <laughs> what will you ask? What would you ask? I'm very curious. If I, if I have uh, Insignia in front of me, depends. Yeah, one question. If, if it's really something formal with uh -huh. cameras, I will go with a, a nice question. If like it's what? like, you know, after in backstage, I will ask him, tell me the truth. Okay, I need to know, I need to know both of them. What would it be if it's on camera? On camera? Yeah. No, no, let's, start, let's, let's, let's start with the backstage question. Okay, off the camera. Oh, you'll say it? Yeah, of course. All right. All right. So the backstage see. question off camera, I will ask uh, Lorenzo Insigne. I will tell him, Lorenzo, tell me the truth. You are a Juventino since that you are born. <laughs> tell me the truth, Lorenzo. I would love his reaction to that. And he will say yes, off camera. And then if you put me on camera, you know, with a lot of people, I will ask him, Lorenzo, tell me the truth. You are a Juventino, right? <laughs> I will tell him the same question. <laughs> I saw, a, I saw a picture of him. He had, you know, the ski hangers, the key hangers with something like oh, yeah. Forza Juve or something like that. Really? Marco, nah. 
Marco, What's your source? I, no, it's true. Marco, if a guy in this room, he has the poster of Del Piero, you can't be for another team. Il, il tiro, uh, uh, il tiro a gir that is coming from il gol alla Del Piero is inspired by that. You know that the last t-shirt, the last t-shirt of Del Piero, the last one that he wore, uh, worn at the, uh, for you, he gave it to Insigne when he was a kid, huh? at Pescara. He has sent him. What does the... that mean? He loved, okay, that's because he liked Del Piero. It doesn't mean that you're a Juventus. I, I liked a lot of players. I love Kaká, I love Maldini, but I didn't grow up a Milan fan. But I like uh, Van Basten, I like, uh, I like Maradona, but the poster in my room was uh, Vialli, was Ravanelli, it was not Maradona. He's a Juventino. But How did you find out that he got this poster in his room? Maybe he had an Italy, maybe it was Del Piero in an Italy jersey. He said it, he said it himself, he's a Juventino. But he can't admit it publicly now, eh, Marco, it's true, believe me. Okay. But I like Fair it, enough. huh? That's why, that's why it's coming with Il Tiragir, because it's inspired Tiragir. by Del Piero, his favorite player. Yeah, that I get. Well, we have people from yeah. Toronto. Ivan, maybe I will go to Toronto in two days with Marco and Colo. We have a question like from Mohamed Youssef. Like Ciao, Mohamed. We're saying, fingers crossed, no injury. Eh, this is a really beautiful Mercato. Balance between youth and experience. Let's hope that Allegri don't experiment much too many formations. This is a team that should control the game. Marco, that question, if, let's say, Pogba arrives, Di Maria arrives, Zagnolo arrives, let's say, uh, I will not say Koulibaly, but a big defender like Koulibaly or Bremer, do you believe that uh, it's, first of all, an Allegri team built for him, that's one, that he can do better than next year? And how, how do you rate the Mercato? Because Mohamed is saying it's a beautiful Mercato. Is it also something that you are feeling or not? No, I, I actually, I agree with that. I think it's a very Allegri Mercato. It's completely different than what the talk was a couple of years ago, where it was about like rejuvenating the squad and getting these young players to bet on. It is... We are Juventus. We need to compete again. He just wants players who have won, who have been there, who have the character to do it. It's not thinking about three, four, five years from now. It is this season. They need to fight for the league title. And I think it's a very Allegri team. I think that's when he's really good. Allegri is really good when he has players like that around him. So it does make sense. And, and I think they are going towards that path. I think that it was also a clear identity that he wanted the 4-3-3 because they're signing players that would more or less fit in, into that formation, into that system. So I would say so. And I think it is a uh, very good Mercato, but my the caveat is what happens with the league? Who is yeah. signed to replace him? This guy, Gabriel from Arsenal, I don't know him well enough to say, can he be this? But I have my doubts on that. Can, can, I, can I tell you one, one, the only reason why I would say, okay, it's De Ligt and Bonucci, and I said it so many times on the channel, according to me, they are not a good duo. Mm. De Ligt and I Chiellini think. were great. De Ligt and Bonucci, no, because then you have to adapt the De Ligt on the left. How many times did we see De Ligt on the left? Who is good, it's still good, but not as good as on the right. So if you are giving me a Bonucci, together with, I don't know, a Gabriel, a Koulibaly, a Bremer, these players, they are used to play a bit more to the left side of the center of the defense. And you can upgrade and they can pair maybe a bit better than uh, with uh, Bonucci. Could be the only way that I see that I say, why not? Why not? For me, Bremer should be a no-brainer at this uh, point. I'm surprised that the rumors are not stronger because he was the best. He was one of the best defenders last season in Serie A. And, you know, I, I would not, I would always choose De Ligt over Bremer. But if we have to speak, you know, logically, Bremer had a better season than De Ligt. I still think De Ligt is a better player. Don't get me wrong. But he would be the guy that you get right away to replace him. So, you know, I agree with you on that sense. Like this, this Gabriel, and there's another name as well that I don't know well enough, but I would have doubts that they could be good. But I think another point too, about I know you're saying Bonucci, De Ligt, Maybe they haven't worked in the past, but I think also for defense, it's important that the four players, they play together. Like, there's never continuity. I feel like that's been a big problem for Juventus in the back. Also, the right back and the left back that have been there. You know, when, when you're in a defense, you need to understand each other. You need to learn how, how the players play together. You know, what's the, what's the best quality or what's... I, I'll tell you a really s short story kind of goes towards this. I played a, a match with uh, Bruno Giordano in the park 
in the park over here. Bruno Giordano, like iconic Napoli player. And he told me the number one, I, I played on the right side. He just, he told me exactly what to do when we played. He said the number one piece of advice, the thing that Maradona, the reason why Maradona was as great as, as he was, was because he knew his teammates' weaknesses more than they knew it. So he knew when to not put a teammate in a bad situation. He said, I would know that this player, I have to give him the ball on the floor. I can't give it in the air. He'll take an extra second or two. I know that I don't play him into space. I know that when he steps, I need to drop a little bit more because 1v1 is not a strong suit. So, you know, big, you know, long way of saying that I think that there needs to be continuity in the back line. I agree with you. That's a really, really great observation. Um, you forgot also something else, uh, why Maradona was really strong. But that's another topic. That's another term. We will not speak about that uh, on the on the channel. So let's be <laughs> let's speak about uh, uh, some. Uh, it's my favorite player outside of you, and Maradona. Respect Maradona. Yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Really? For me, if you tell me and you say, okay, take your shirt of Juve away and tell me best player ever, Maradona, without any doubt. You think that uh, Dybala can go to Napoli? Do you think it would be a really great move for Dybala <laughs> to go to Napoli? And speaking about Maradona, you know, he's the yeah. only one that brought two Scudetti to Napoli. They are Did you just still... compare Dybala to Maradona? No, 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 no. But no I it was a beautiful did. link. Eh. How can you compare Dybala to Maradona, Giuseppe? No, you, you know, that's, I, how, that's, how, that's how social media heard it. You know that, right? Hey, it's, that, we, that's, what they, that's what they'll write. We, we have to pay attention how we are formulating <laughs> the sentences. So Maradona was my favorite player, is my favorite player, the best of the world. Unfortunately, he never played to Juve. We have a Juve player that is called Dybala that is not anymore a Juve player. He's Argentinian. He was wearing the number 10. Do you think that going to Napoli would be a good fit for him? That's the question. I think it would. I think it would, actually. I like the Dybala. I like Dybala going to a team where he could be the guy. Like, he could be the man. Not just, like, one of a few really good players. I don't know if that's his standout. I don't know character-wise, number one, how he can handle uh, Napoli because Napoli will be a tough city. But I think it'll be similar to Palermo, like, in the south of Italy, where they'll love him and they'll embrace him like crazy. And he's got the talent to be able to do it. So I think that... It would actually make sense. And we know De Laurentiis, I, the trend, the salary will be hard, but at least he doesn't have to pay a transfer fee. So if there was ever a time to sign like a big player or a big name, it would be for the, for Dybala, I think. Look, if he loses Koulibaly, where everyone will, pissed off, will be pissed off in Napoli, it will be the chaos in Napoli, I believe that signing Dybala would make Na Napoli fans forget a bit about it. They will a bit forgive well, um, De Laurentiis. Depends where Koulibaly goes. I know, of course, to Juve. <laughs> He's not going to go to Juve. You know, hey, Marco, you He's know, go he will go to Juve. He's not going to Juve. I promise you want to make you, a bet? I, I bet. Okay. You I promise bet. me? I promise you. What's the promise? I don't know. Okay, I have a, I have a bet. Okay. I have a bet. Okay. A legit bet. If Koulibaly goes to Juventus, I will come see you in the next year. In Belgium. If he doesn't, you have to come see me in New York. Hey, that's a beautiful... Uh... Within the next 12 months. We'll give each other 12 months. Okay. Deal? Wait, that is like that. Wait, wait. wait. That's a beautiful one. Guys, if Koulibaly... This season, huh? if Koulibaly, in the, until the 31st of August, he goes to Juve, Marco, he comes to Belgium. If Koulibaly doesn't join Juve, I go to New York. I like that. We, we could also add, I would will, I will be willing to add to this negotiation, we could also meet in Torino as an option and go to a Juventus game because that's um, something that we've been saying for a very long time that we were going to do. That's true. That's a really beautiful one. I'm okay with that. Yeah. That's okay. That we meet in Torino and we do a meetup with a lot of people, with fans from the channel, from IFTV, from uh, from here, and uh, we do a beautiful party there. That's a beautiful one. I like that. But what? When then? If he joins or if he doesn't join? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we'll cross that. 
bridge when we get to it. We will find something. No, but you know, I like that idea of me doing a big meetup in Torino and going to the stadium together, enjoying a game. I love Champions that. League match. I love. That. We'll break the curse. I know, but hey, guys, pay attention. The last time that Marco he went to Italy, uh, do you curse on your channel? No, but it's true. I'm about to curse you out. He went to Italy versus Macedonia, and Italy he was disqualified of the World Cup. He went to Juve Villarreal, and we took three goals. Juve Inter or Inter Juve? I don't remember. And Juve lost. I don't know if I want to watch a game with you. I'll see myself out. I don't know. All right, let me say one thing. Let me say one thing. Because I got this comment. I remember when, when Juventus got knocked out of the, uh, against Villarreal, I had a, a friend make a joke to me. I said, did you watch the past couple of years? They lost to Ajax, Lyon, Porto, and now you're blaming me for the Villarreal the one time I'm here? I think it's because of you. You curse it, Marco. You're the type of person, let me guess, you're the type of person you go to like, you'll go to like the game against Lecce or something, like the one that you know that you're going to win. You know, I, I have a really beautiful record at the stadium. I never lost there. Oh, yeah, because I forgot that you're playing. I never lost. I, I am the one. Yeah. Eh? Juve Genoa, we won. Juve Sampdoria, we won. Uh, Juve Milan, yeah. we won. Look, Genoa, Sampdoria. I tell you Milan. I tell you Milan. All right, Milan. In 2011. Okay. When, when, huh? when was Milan? Scudetto okay. holders. Right. Fair enough. Scudetto Fair enough. holders. Okay. And Juve right. won. 2-0 with the brace of Marchisio. Juve Lazio. I went. Lazio, Lazio is the best one to go to. I, Juve Lazio was the first game that I went to because it's still like a strong team, but then you know that your, your chances are pretty high. No, no. Juve Lazio, it was also the goodbye to Chiellini and uh, Dybala. I forgot that you went there. I forgot you were there for that one. And I blame my son, of course, huh? because we were winning Was it winning crocodile tears from Dybala? You, you had the, the good view, was it? Hey, you, no, no, no. I, I, I really believe I'm honest. Huh? I believe he was really sad. Uh, it was not crocodile tears and he was not made up. Guy, he was crying like a baby. It's impossible uh, to, to fake. Like, you can fake in life, but not like that. No, no. He was really sad. I believe he said like, uh, damn, what did I do? Yeah. <laughs> I fucked up. I think I think that's really what he what he did. Uh, he realized that he he made a big mistake. That's what did I he made the mistake. Yeah, of course. La Juventus, what? Why, how did he make a mistake? They agreed in October, and and then they they decided to change their mind. I don't want to go into a Dybala. Uh, I okay. want to hold it uh, positive. No, no. I think he made a really big mistake. He did the mistake. But it's not starting now, eh, Marco. It's starting already three years ago. Eh? You know when it started? When he scored oh the brace versus Barcelona. Here comes the... Wait, wait, what? Here comes the conspiracy theory, Giuseppe, over here. G just conspiracies. No. F 57 more likes and I go to Toronto, by the way. No, you're already going. It's 300. It was we 250. I extended it to 300. We said 364. I know. No. So, Marco, look. He scored the brace versus Barcelona. And Dybala was thinking that he was the best of the world. He goes. A few weeks later, he goes to Argentina. He's going to in front of the microphone. He said, I can't play with Messi. Because he was really thinking like the like Gazzetta dello Sport. It's because of Gazzetta dello Sport. And we are going back to Gazzetta dello Sport because they were saying... Neymar key. Who is Neymar? That's what they were saying on Gazzetta del Sport. Yeah. And then he started to, he wanted to earn as much as Ronaldo. Eh, behaviors. He was showing the shirt versus Triestina with Sarri. He did it again versus Udine. No, no, no. He messed up. I believe he really messed up. Then he goes to the party with McKenny and Arthur in uh, the COVID time. You know, how many times did I say you? You, are, you must have like a file on your phone where you just wrote all this down so that you remember any, all of it, any of it. Oh yeah, I have. You're crazy. I have. You're I crazy. have all my players. I have the record. What the, whatever they I are doing, it. I write. Yeah, how long? How long is Rabiot's list for you? No, the problem is that I have nothing on the paper. I would love. To, <laughs> I would love to put. Say, I wish there was something. <laughs> I, I, I wish. I wish there was something to talk about with him too. That's just, the problem. If you are paying someone eight million a year, you hope that you can write something. The only thing I have is Rabiot scoring a banger versus Milan, and then we lose four two. So that's the oh problem. God, I remember that one. That's hey, where wait, you really wait, lost your mind for him. You loved him for for a while. 
I missed, by the way, no, Rabiot for me, we have to be honest, I hope that uh, this year he can go and we can uh, also earn a bit of money. Yeah? <laughs> that's a great comment. Marco, no game visits, <laughs> Beppe, no buying shirts. Yeah, it's oh, true. Oh, that's great. Uh, but you, Mohammed, thank you for your donation. Mohammed knows perfectly well the curse of the shirts. I'm, 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 you did that. You know what? I, hey, Marco, I was really smart this season. No, sh no name, or you got your name, Kellini. Hey. It's always good. I don't care. The jersey's nice, he... by the way. I like I, the jersey. I don't care if he gets injured. Now he's playing in LA. I need him to stay healthy. I need to see him. I'm I'm happy for Kellini, by the way. No, it's a beautiful one, huh? I agree. I, I like agree. it. I like it a lot. It looks good. Just put your name on the jerseys or keep them blank. I know, and then I will get injured myself. Are you crazy? <laughs> what do you do? What do you well, how are you gonna get injured? What you do how, when's the last time you played? When's the last I, time you played football? I have videos of me playing football. Oh god. Do I wanna see this? You didn't see online me playing no. football? I scored an amazing banger. Oh. Yeah, who you who are you playing against? My son. Yeah. <laughs> how old your son? How old your son? <laughs> you're one of those, right? Like you kept like a tally of how many goals you would score. For your like Pelé. Like... Pelé was doing the same. He was playing with his children and he was every time he was updating Instagram. That's funny. That's how... so funny. Did you see yeah, that, that every time? Yeah, I saw that. It was hilarious. I love that petty level though. I, re I actually really love that. I respect it. Yeah, no, it's great. No, I will not go to Sassuolo. First game, I will not be... I Normally, I will not be there. Marco Meola. Beppe never lost. Marco always loses. Meet up and yeah. let's see who is more powerful. I love that comment from Marco. Uh, Dybala was crying for more. <laughs> Maybe. I like the video. Thank you, Pogba. Uh, Ati saying some uh, emotes on the channel. Saif, one m word, Marco. Antun. Antun is the problem. Eh, no, that's too easy for me. Because then you can uh, you can blame the agent, but at a certain moment, there is a person that is choosing for the agent. Mm -hmm. G, just conspiracies. I love that from Jacob. We received a, a, another message from Anthony Quintero. Thank you. Who is saying Dybala messed up. He had an offer and his agent had no license to sign. Then he misbehaved with Nedved. So Juve had enough. Vlaovic came in. Bye bye. Bye bye. Is that a beautiful bye -bye. recap? No. I, I mean, I, I, personally, I, I don't agree. But um, But yeah. It's all right. Mama, yeah. I don't think I, I never thought it was a problem what he did. I know people got very upset with how he looked at the directors and stuff, but water under the bridge, right? Look, we spoke about a team for Allegri. We spoke about Koulibaly. We made a bet. We spoke about the Licht. We spoke about Bernardeschi to Toronto. What is moving you, Marco? Uh, I don't know. Di Maria, are you happy? Pogba. We didn't speak about Pogba. Are you happy? It's true. It, I'm surprised. We're very deep into a video. And you didn't you, you know when it happened? You, the last time that you were on the channel, on this channel, the last oh. time, do you remember? Oh, yes. Wait, we talked about Pogba. And it was yeah. the first time after six years that I said, you know mm. what? I don't yes. want Pogba anymore. Yes, that was the one. And I, I think I literally said in the clip, like, I can't wait until... You know, they sign him and then you're going to and then you're going to look back and say like, oh, no, I didn't really mean that or, or put one of those. You know what happened? I, I have a good memory on that one. So I said I don't want Pogba. And two days later, but really literally, they said contact Pogba Juve. And then I said I changed my mind. So really fast. I'm like that. You know, it's like yeah. Di Maria. Di Maria, he was on the edge. <laughs> he was on the edge of being my favorite player. Like now, because he will arrive. So for me, it's the best assessment. He's healthy. He's young. He's really beautiful player. He's really great. If he would not have said yes and he would have gone to Barcelona or whatever, I would have said Maybe that the he's worst. a washed player, skinny yeah. player. Injury prone. Injury prone. The ears, not beautiful ears. Yeah. I don't like that. So it, was, it, it depended on him at the end. It's easy. It's really easy. <laughs> Beppe, I, does Marco I'm, I'm know the it. words to your song? Of course he knows. Hey guys, if you if you don't know the words of the song, there is a it's problem. Like, huh? No. Which one? Mercato is crazy. Yeah. La, 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 la. And then Mercato is, there anything is else? crazy tonight. La, oh la, yes. La, la. Eh. Okay. All right. So four words. Yeah. All right. I'm not that. I, I I was. I thought there was something else. I thought you put like a remix and you added like 
verses to it. No, I am thinking about doing the the long version, but then uh, Koloi Gosh. will kill me. Eh? It will be bad yeah, for the guy. Uh, the videos, it's fine, but I also have other things to do. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, you for your donation, Jamie. You, you, you would write it yourself? What, the song? Yeah. I wrote, I wrote Mercato is crazy, yeah? All right, you wrote well, four words. Yeah, but hey, it's a, it's a hit of the summer. But if you but if you have to do like a, a verse, like if you have to keep going, that's I would do it myself. I don't know. That's hard. Would, no, no, it's easy. It's really easy. Really, you're good yeah. at that. Yeah, do you I know that? Know. You know how it started? Yeah? I was on the channel. I bought a, you know a microphone to transform the voice and so on. I was trying to do crazy things, and then it came up. Uh. You you just have to improvise, and it comes super easy. I'm telling you, you can make it a TikTok trend. If you get that sound, like you have to put it over something on TikTok and everyone, you'll get like all the English Premier League people to use it and then that's when it'll take off. What, Mercato is crazy? You. Yeah. Yeah. It's got to it's gotta be like some sort of trend where like, you, you know, you're linked to, you know, okay, it's kind of like, I've just used Man United as a punching bag on this one, right? You're like, you're linked to like De Jong, you're linked to, um, they're always linked to like Neymar, or whoever it is, and then they end up with like a different list of players, you know? I think that's a trend. That's a good one. I like that. Right? But do you think they right? understand the word mercato or not? They'll figure it out. They they will understand. Yeah. Or you or you say the market the market ah the market no, is no, crazy. No, no. no, it's not nah, beautiful. The market no, no, is no, crazy. No, no, no. Let them adapt to us. All right. We set the trend. Come on. That's like saying any word in Italian. People like end up figuring out how to say it. And no, it'll be good. I'm telling nah. you, TikTok talent challenge. But I'm I'm really bad at TikTok. Sometimes I try with a video. Uh, I had one banger, 170,000 views, uh, nice. and I look really disgusting. I have no beard. <laughs> I have no beard. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait, you have a 15-year-old son. Why don't you just get pay him, put him on your, uh, you know, he's part of Gijos Juve, and he could create the content for TikTok. That's his, like, his little job, like I part of the care. chores. He doesn't care about the, that. No? He loves to watch, not to create. Okay. Maybe, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Ah, question about from Anthony. Is the Licht a flop? But for me, no. For me, no. He didn't live up to all the potential that we were expecting, but he's not a flop. No, for me, no, no. For me, it's not a flop. I agree with you, but we agreed on that one. Oh, you didn't tell me. Pogba and Di Maria. Yeah. Who do you oh, rate? Amazing. Who is the, the giving you the most emotion? Di Maria oh. or Pogba? I mean, just emotion, wise, huh? It has to it has to be Pogba, just because of the. I, I remember I, I even sent you that video the other night of like some of his past moments, and that's when I really bought into it. And I said, "Oh my gosh, this is it's amazing to to come back." And it's such a good also like look back at some play. You know, some players that they do amazing, then they leave a place that they were feeling so good on. But when you feel good, you're playing good. The players love you. You know, your, your fans love you. Sometimes you should just stay. I think Pogba, well. He's not the end-all, be-all. He's not the person that's going to fix Juventus. He's not the person that's even going to fix the midfield on his own. I think he adds a piece that has been missing for a long time from this team. When we had that great midfield and it never lived up, you know, we never properly reinforced it with the right players. Pogba is one of those guys. We have, There's no midfielders that score goals on Juventus. Mm. It is so hard to get a midfielder that goes up, has courage to take a shot, he is one of those players, and I think Pogba is going to fit in perfect. I keep seeing the the comments from like all these Man United fans. One of my one of my best friends, Ryan, he's like keeps telling me he's a wash player. He's so bad. I completely disagree. I think he's going to slot in perfect at Juventus. Hmm. Yeah, Pogba is more. You know, I will tell you, huh? Pogba is of course top, but I will tell you more. I believe that if if Koulibaly arrives, he will be the one that will uh, that will move me the most. But really, because Koulibaly would be like a statement. Boom, we are back. Strong, physical. You take him from Napoli. You put him there in the defense. The leader. The ma hey, To replace... Uh, I would have loved Koulibaly and the league together. That would have been the dream. I Anything think that else would you have... want? Uh, Anything else you want to add to the team? But left you want to get Neymar? Uh, if we can have a left back, I will not say no. <laughs> just a left back. No, but Marco. Hey, no, Marco. Seriously, just count. How many did we spend for Pogba? Zero. How many did mm. we spend for Di Maria? Zero. The market, it just started. We have two mm. big names with zero euro spend. 
He won't people, go to Juventus is the problem. Be, no, it's not but, about the money. People are He's not going to go to Juventus. No, but people are saying, people are saying, eh, but if you sell the Licht, you, but we don't need to sell the Licht. We have the money because at the moment we didn't spend at all. If you go for Zagnolo, you spend what you had to spend. But then you will sell Rabiot, Mandragora, the Pellegrini, Arthur, you will try, you know, and you, you take some cash. I think that the Mercato will be really, really crazy. J uh, Jamie saying, if Antonio, thank you for your donation, Jamie, if Antonio had his own YouTube channel, how long until he got stuck? For 24 hours can't ever work out if he always is serious or not. I saw him, by the way, on his uh, Vespa. Uh, he didn't even talk to you. He was angry at you huh? because you, you saw him. He was angry. He just lives in a state of anger and yelling and screaming, but that's 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 Antonio. He never changes. He's never changed for, I don't know, the 20 years that I've known him. And he never will. That's part of it. If he grew up in this age where he actually knew how to do social media, he would be so big. It's hilarious. Thank God. Thank God for the world's sake that he doesn't know how to use it. Ah, oh, Antonio is a fantastic guy. He's fantastic. He's a, he's a show on himself. He's just an entertainment. You know, how, but serious, yeah, how many people are watching IFTV as first because they heard about Antonio, they like, they go, they watch, and then, of course, you remain, you love, you hear the different opinions of a, a Juve fan, Inter fan, Napoli fan, but it's true that he's an attraction, and uh, that's a talent, huh? that's really a talent, being a natural attraction, Paul. Don't, don't tell him, don't tell him that, it'll go straight to his head. But it's true, and then he will overplay, I know, huh? I know how it exactly. is. Exactly, exactly. You can never, you can never do anything with that guy, he's crazy, anyway. Andrew, if you wa have watched the Pogmentary, did you watch the Pogmentary? Yeah, it was it was terrible. It, it was, was so bad. It was amazing. It was so bad. Oh my gosh! Oh, Don't be one of those. You are you are one of the hater. You are so the emotional. hater. You go and you put I'm one the hater. star. You are going putting one star on the uh, Amazon no, Prime no, or whatever. I would never do that. I would never do that. That's hilarious though. That's all Man United fans. That, He's that. saying, wait, the Pogba has been missing the Juve atmosphere in the past six seasons. I I don't believe that Pogba was missing Juve in six seasons. I believe that he wanted to come back from 2018-19, but the opportunity was not there. Six seasons, probably not. Huh? You didn't like the Pogmentary? It was so bad. Rayola was great. Huh? He was the best. Rayola was, was best. great. I love him. And, you know, Rafaela Pimenta. She was great. She was great. She was. They were more real. Like I like I like that Raul. He just said whatever whatever he wanted. For for me, the Pogba documentary, like, okay, it was cool. If you're really invested in it, then it's cool. But it felt like a PR piece, to be honest. Like it's like, you know, making him look like only in the best light. So I liked it just, you know, I like to hear the inside stories and stuff. I would definitely watch it again if I didn't watch it and I knew the outcome. But let's be honest, it's not uh it's not, you know, a lie, you know, a sports changing documentary like uh were, were like, you expecting know. that he would reveal a team or no i thought so i thought maybe you that's thought? what i i felt like it would have yeah i felt like they were going to say more to be honest i i think it was like pushed back a little bit that's why you know because they were talking about last year mm, i know people yeah. kept saying like oh if Ryla was still here he wouldn't join juventus but i don't even i don't agree with that i think he was talking about in that moment juventus didn't have money not I and it's Today. also true, huh? It's also true because at the end last year, who do who did we sign? Mm -hmm. Locatelli, Caio Giorgi, and Moiskin last day of the mercato. So it, mm -hmm. it is also it's no lie, yeah. We bought nobody, yeah. I think Fabrizio Romano said it might have been the summer of COVID or like when it first hit or the the after one, I don't remember. But he said Juventus were going to get Pogba. Like that was what's gonna happen. <laughs> so they didn't have the money to be able to do it. So I think Raiola was just saying the truth. But you, you know that uh um Fabrizio Romano tweeted, but all of them, even Di Marzo and so on, that um, Pogba was a done deal. If mm. before, if COVID would not have been there, Pogba would have been a, a Juve player already since some season. But that was the plan. Eh? Ronaldo, the league. Can you imagine? Change of midfield with Pogba. That's what was needed. Yeah, That's you... what was needed. Yeah. That's why it's a little bitter. I saw I agree. Maurizio from uh, around uh, Turin. I saw what he said about um, about Ronaldo, 
and and it he summarized it perfect. Bittersweet is like the perfect way to describe Ronaldo's time. Such a mm -hmm. wasted opportunity. Not all in Juventus's hands, but but it's a, it's a combo. Huh? Maurizio Rivaben, I don't know if you saw the, the three pagers of uh, his interview, that was really interesting, but at a certain moment he's not hesitant in saying, look, yes, COVID, we had a lot of losses, but it's not mm. only COVID. Huh? We I also agree. made mistakes and we have to, you know, it's not that you have a magic wand up and everything is resol resolved. We are still paying for Douglas Costa in the books. Um, there were, he didn't mention, but then he, he's also pointing fingers at Ramsey. Rabiot, yep. uh, even extending Alexandro. And this time I'm not even speaking about uh, Marotta, eh, Marco. I'm speaking about... <laughs> yeah, about, about yeah I'm, I'm, sure you're, I'm sure you're ready to go there. That, that's, uh, no, that's okay. This time I will spare Marotta. By the way, I have to admit that uh, he's, this year is doing great. But you know why he's doing great? I tell you the prediction. He's doing great because he doesn't care. Because it will be his last year at Inter. And then he will go to Federazione Italiana Gioco Calcio. He said, you know what? Here, I will, I will invest a lot of money. We will win or we will try to do big this year. And then if they collapse, they collapse. I don't care. That's what he's doing. He just conspiracies is back, baby. I'm back. But everything I say is always true. Huh? How many uh, predictions back. did I send you that were true? 100%. At least you know what? You one know on five. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Beppe is the type of guy. He's like that friend that you have that he uses the reply feature on WhatsApp and he will scroll back as far as he can to show you that he told you something like so long ago. He'll never go back and say like, oh, maybe, no, no, it's not true or it's not going to happen, you know, no updates. But if you find it once, you reply it and you say that you were absolutely correct. I know, of course, but, but I remember as well when I'm uh, when I'm wrong. Eh? And then I will probably not talk to you for like three, four days, exactly. you know, and then I come back yeah. when I'm right. Mohamed exactly. is saying, we can't really feel players who uh, don't stay seven year plus. I believe, thank you for your donation, Mohamed, that that time is is over. Players that remain really, really, really long. Of course, they can. You have some uh, exceptions, but the world has changed. Meanwhile, you have a lot more free transfers that are possible. Um, and I said, and that's something I learned in my normal job, not uh, in the football world, but I believe it's the same. In the beginning, when I was recruiting some people for managers for the stores, I was recruiting people that I was sure that they could have been really loyal for a few years. And I was always asking these standard question, hey, where do you see yourself in three, five years, 10 years? And when they had, you know, these kind of fast ambitions that they wanted to be, I don't know where in two years, I was a bit hesitant. And then I realized that I prefer to have the best of the world for two years than a good, good player for 10 years. I want the top immediately. And so that's why I don't care about having all a lot of players that remains five, seven years. You don't know. You don't know. And I don't care about the... I had my loyal players. They were Del Piero, Buffon, Chiellini, Trezeguet. Now I don't care. They come, they go. What's your take on that one, uh, Messina? You're, you're probably right. You're right. You're right. I mean, but then you go against like those people that say that, you know, Ronaldo wasn't a, a smart move because he was just like, you know, short term thinking instead of long term. <laughs> you, you like Harry Potter? Oh, big I'm Harry a Potter big fan? fan. I'm a big fan. Really? Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Big fan of Harry Potter. Yeah, I'm not. Never was. Yeah. I know you are not, but uh, I am. How do you know? How do you, have we talked about this? Probably. Yeah. Did you because... read them? Did you read them or you watch the movies? What, what do you think? Okay. Uh -oh. you, I read them or not? And now I know that you read them because you're trying to brag. What do you yeah. have a DVD that you're going to show me? You were about to go grab something. <laughs> uh, wait, wait. Let's see. Wait. You see, I have a lot of books. books. Eh? Of course, the book. Uh oh. I have a, I have trouble. That's here. We were just talking about him. Mamma mia, Antonio. he's there. He's there. Ant you want, you want to see him? Hold on, Antonio. We're live. Okay. Just so you know. <laughs> Come on. You know, you know Giuseppe, right? Ciao, Antonio. Hold on. Put this in your ear. Your, your left ear. 
Oh, there you are. Yeah, there we go. Put it in. There we go. Jose. Ciao, Antonio. Oh, Questo qua. Ai, 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 ai. Eh, Trouble I agree. Maker, troublemaker. Yes. But Jose, you will look much better with an AC Milan shirt on, but I'm not going to take it away from you. The, uh, anyway. the new shirt. The new shirt. Bring me. Oh, the new shirts. Yeah. You like it Absolutely. or not? Absolutely, I love it, especially with the scudetto at the center. Oh, I love it. And, and also here on the sleeves. I'm one. On the sleeves. Yes, yes. Yeah. I was actually, I was blogging yesterday night when I came back from the 4th of July party and this morning. And then I'm, I almost placed the order, but someone here holds me a shirt because they made a bet with me. Sure. And uh, maybe they'll remember, they'll get it for me. But Antonio, anyway, can you, can you, because I was thinking, eh, why? Mm -hmm why Milan, they didn't continue the, the, the strife. You were missing some money or what was the problem? It was for Maldini. I, I don't the, know, pay, stopped, the investment you know? didn't come through. It was like, they had to renew Maldini. <laughs> we ran out of ink. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's got the most corny dad jokes. Giuseppe, he's worse than you with the corny dad jokes. Uh, Giuseppe, why don't you come over here? Giuseppe. That's what I told him. We come made a bet. Here. Look, come we made here. a bet. If I have 364 likes on the video today, I have to go to, no, I know it was to Toronto. I have to go to Toronto with Marco and we are at 345. So we are Tell missing 22 like likes. Guys, listen to me, guys, for the sake, for God's sake, put another 700 likes because I want Giuseppe to come right here, right now. Okay. And, and then I'm we make a party, that. yeah, Antonio, then we make a party, yeah. Imagine, bald and bald. <laughs> You got that right. You got that right. But me, I'm not a true bald. I shave my head. The you same with me. Bald. We have the same. We have that in common. <laughs> the people they don't understand that we do it on purpose because otherwise people will get jealous. Okay, just that uh, we'll wait for you. Okay, we'll wait for you. Okay. Yeah. Give me five minutes. Ciao, Sorry Antonio. For that. Five Sorry for, for that, uh... guys. Five for five more minutes with Marco. So shoot, I will stay a bit longer. But we have a few questions. Jamie Drummer. Cristiano Ronaldo back to Juve. If not, where will he end up? Marco, back to back. Fast answer. I think he'll end up at Real Madrid. Very random, but I said it a couple months ago. I don't know why. I just felt like he was going to end up back there. I don't think he'll go back to Juventus. He's not going to go to Napoli. He's not going to go to Roma. Thank you for your donation, would... Jamie. Wait, next it one. Be, it will be fun, though. Aussie. Ciao, Marco and Beppe. He's from Australia, so he's just waking up. I watched live over 87 games in Serie A since 1991. The best player I have ever seen in the world is Diego Armando Maradona, in my opinion. That's the same as me. Roberto Baggi is the best Italian player. You agree with him or not? Yes. Thank you for your donation, buddy. Armando Maradona, the best in the world. Baggio, the best Italian. Well, I'm a little bit biased with this one. Uh, I, I'm more of a Pelé guy, I'll be honest, than Maradona. Uh, but but it, there's like a, a deep reason, like a long. My uh, my dad worked with uh, Pele over here in uh, in a soccer camp. Of uh, they had like Pele soccer camps that they went around the United States for, and he worked with him. And he told me some like stories about Pele and how he was, and I kind of was like influenced from there. But Maradona was probably better. No, oh, but Maradona was Maradona. Maradona was Maradona. What Pele almost man. went to Juventus. You know that, right? I know. I know. Almost. Then you would say. Then you would say that Pelé is better. Of course, if, if, he, if was he played for Juventus. If you, hey, but he was at Santos, black and white stripes. So you know, yeah. also there. But it's still Maradona. Maradona is Maradona. Um, thank you, Aussie Grande from Australia. I will go fast because we have four more minutes with Marco. Dennis by Rami, my friend. Dennis is saying, "Good day, Beppe. Get Antonio from the screen. Only Juve fans here. Whenever I go to AFTV, he always hating on Juve. Forza Juve, love Juventini of the world. No, Dennis, we love Antonio. We love Antonio because you know, of course, he hates, but we hate Inter as well. Way of speaking, so it's normal. If he would love me, uh, Juve, that would be a problem." <laughs> that could be a problem. Eh. No, no, Antonio is great. Thank you, Dennis, for your donation, buddy. Uh, three more minutes. Tariq. And guys, if you have questions for Marco, it's the moment. Eh? Ask Antonio, are Milan still talking the breadcrumbs from the table? Taking the breadcrumbs from the table? Marco, ask him. Send me a message about that question from Tariq. I think they still are. They're, they're, they're still not able to buy any players. Eh. But they signed Origi for free. Yeah. Pay attention. Eh? Yeah. If they get the Ketelara... 
the keter. Ah, listen to the pronunciation. Okay. That's yeah, yeah, free. tell me. The. Oh. So oh. it's Charles. Charles is easy, yeah? Charles okay. de Ketelaar. De Ketelaar. Ketelaar. Yes. Ketelaar. You're the king of pronunciations. Do you know how to say the guy that Napoli signed? Kvaratskelia. Whoa. Kvishak Whoa. Kvaratskelia. Oh. I don't know if it's correct or not. Huh? Uh, oh. So I'm just Sound saying. Right. But it looks, it looks beautiful huh? when I'm yeah, saying it. Yeah. You want to try it? Oh my gosh. No, I, I, I I'm, I, I it's difficult, okay. huh? Kvaratskelia. It's easy. Kvaratskelia. Hey, you see? Kvaratskelia. Jera. Ciao, oh, Jera. Juve will win the Champions League on the next five years. Thank you for your donation. Je uh, I believe no, because they will be the Super League. But uh, Marco, <laughs> do you believe that uh, they can win the Champions League in the next five years? Yes. Yes. I think oh, yeah? they will. I think they will. Yep. Oh. Yeah, that's it. This year with Di Maria. He's going to lift it. No, guys, stop. Stop, because then people, then they will, uh, they will be really angry. I say this year we win the Scudetto with 10 points ahead of everyone. That, but Champions this year? League is hard. Scudetto, yeah, yeah. You, you think they're going to win the Scudetto? But easy. At, at the end, I, in the last five Easy. games, in the last five games, I don't even know if we play the games. We don't care. Mm. All right. I respect your opinion. No, no. But I believe I will shock the world. Inter will still compete this year. But from next year, so not this year, the next one, uh, it will be for five years, Juve and Milan that will battle. Oh, yeah. No. I saw that theory of yours. You will yeah, see. G just got, yo, G just... Theory, a conspiracy theories like that's yeah, that's actually is, a thing g just prediction g just prediction okay maybe no. two more questions for marco guys the we gotta get to 400 Jamie's... likes before i leave come on please hey, come on hey we reached We're close them, marco we reached them we hit four we hit 400 no 389 no i, I want to yeah with three i want to hit 400 before i go what was the bet at 400 i don't remember no, nothing. I just ah. oh, at four hundred, you said that you're gonna fly to New York today. Today, think, today, to today. Right Jamie saying next Italian club to win the Champions League. Ah, who's the next one? Ju Juventus. Yeah. Yeah, I think Juventus. I believe as well. In the next Palermo. Years. Palermo. I changed my answer. Palermo. <laughs> uh, hey, Uncle that's a place for Dybala. Dybala's gonna go back to Palermo. Might be the only spot that's going to take him. I saw the beautiful edit of him uh, going to Palermo. But uh, <laughs> no, I think that Danny, Danny has to go to Monza. But uh, let's see. Last question. Dennis Bajrami. Joke, but he hates a lot. But of course he hates. And I mean, uh, I mean a lot. I don't even hate that much. I love when he is... Um, I love when he and his son get into it. I love Beppe. I missed you. We are champions of Italy next year. Mark my words. But Dennis, this is a fact. We know it already. We are champion of Italy. And I will tell you, we will win two, three Scudetto in a row. We will put the four stars. Eh, mamma mia. We have the four stars before Milan or Inter have the two, star, uh, two stars. You want another bet? <laughs> that's, that's easy. I will win. Oh, we got 400 likes, by the way. So great job to everybody. No, no. 391. Nine. I got 400. No, because someone took it away. Uh, we have three. We, we have three hundred ninety-nine like four hundred. Four hundred. There we go. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. But no, I I think I don't want to. I don't want to. No, I shouldn't say. I shouldn't say who's gonna win. After the Mercato, we can make a, a proper prediction on who's gonna win. I'll say that. But early one, early little push. Roma makes Champions League spot, top four. I, I said the same. I said the same. Okay. Oh no, we're agreeing again. It's not good. I said the same. Roma top four, uh, easy. Easy. Marco, you wanna before leaving, you wanna say something to the people in the chat? I had a really great time together with you. We have to do it more often. Uh, yes. You wanna say something? I always have an incredible time. No, uh, thank you to you, Giuseppe. Uh, I, I love doing this with with you. It's like talking to to a friend. Uh, I know that sometimes we don't see eye to eye, but we have a little bit of fun. We mess with each other. Uh, your your chat and your community and everyone that watches you on YouTube is uh, super unique and and super fun and I, I I appreciate that they've gone along with some of the jokes because I know one of the things that you and I always say when we're writing stuff on Twitter we always tell each other like 
yeah, I don't know if we could be as sarcastic as we usually would be on uh, on video because people are not going to understand the jokes. But I appreciate that we could do this. Uh, I appreciate you having me. And yeah, I'm, I'm down to come on anytime. Guys, follow IFTV. Super important. IFTV Marco on all social media. When can we see you again on uh, television on the beautiful screen? CBS. Uh... We start back. Uh, what's the first day of the campionato? The August 15th, 14th, right? Uh, 13th, 13th, 13th. Yeah. So then. Oh, yeah. We'll Immediately. Yeah. I'm I happy. think you got to come for one. You're going to be in the United States. So then you can watch. I have to go with a beautiful suit if I go to television. I'm not a, I'm not the one. I've never suits. seen you with a suit. Uh, I did it. Uh, I did it. Not so, uh, one week ago. I was on television, but from my home. Oh, really? Uh, from my home. Uh, but it was Tele Lombardia. So it's not a television like nice. CBS. And, and I had pulled a, the suit. Uh, Wait, but were you sitting down? Uh, yeah, of course I'm sitting. Did you did you really have suit pants on, or did no. you put like you? Were I wasn't sure. I was like that. I... <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. You're one of those. You're one of those. I promise I you, it's tell. true. I was in a short with a. Uh, no, it's warm. I wish, I wish they asked you to stand up. Like if if any time I do that, I will always ask the person just to stand up because it would be hilarious if they made you stand up and you're just in like your boxers or something. No, no, I don't care. I go with the short. But if they ask, they ask. What do you want me to say? Uh, then I stand up and then they will judge. You're gonna be like, answer. I can't. I don't care. There's not not enough room. Marco, grazie. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see ciao, you guys Marco. Soon. We remain here, guys. Ciao, ciao, ciao. Ciao, bello. That was fantastic. I, I had a really, really, really a lot of nice time with uh, Marco. Guys, we remain, uh, well, maybe 10 minutes, 15 minutes, whatever. First of all, let me properly say thank you to the people in the chat today because you were amazing. You know that when I'm alone, I try to all read a lot, a lot of your comments. Today, I tried to pin some comments that I was uh, uh, watching, but it's true that I was giving also priority to exchange and interact with Marco. It was a long time ago. He was not in the channel. Thank you to Dennis, to Jamie, to Jera GQ, to Tariq, to Dennis again, to Aussie, to Mohamed Youssef, but also to the for the donations, but also for the people that were subscribing meanwhile, like uh, Vanessa, like Robert Branco, if they are still there. Uh, thank you to Allen, to Anthony Quintero, to Arif, to Fedya, for the people that renewed membership, but also the people that uh, became new members of the channel, Fedya, for example, and so on. You are just simply amazing. Thank you for everything. Now we continue. What do you want to know for 15 minutes or 20 minutes together? What do you know about Mercato? Do we want to do a point? Yes or no? I'm really curious, even if it's true that I'm not watching uh, the news since already... Uh, like, yeah, one hour, one hour and a half. So um, the last news that I know, it's that Roma, if Roma should decide not to accept any exchange for Zaniolo, Juve would formulate an offer as close as possible to the 50 million, starting by an FT loan with an obligation to buy. Uh, Juventus would like to close the deal for Zaniolo within 10 days. Let's see if the Bianconeri would be able to convince the Giallo Rossi starting from tomorrow, Alfredo Pedulla. So that's really beautiful. And now we have a last minute news. Juventus, Friday will be the day of Di Maria. They were just waiting. They were just waiting for Marco to leave so that we could speak about Di Maria together. Friday is the day of Di Maria. This is the news reported by, by Di Marzo. We knew today by Romeo Agresti that finally, finally, he is a Juve player. But on top of that, now we also know the day. Friday. Don't book anything because we will follow every single thing. We will try to do it live Friday, 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 Friday. For the people who are still there, guys, because we didn't speak about it, but I extended with Juventus. So eh, you like me or you don't like me, but for one more season, at least, but then you see, I renewed. So I anticipated Di Maria, I anticipated Pogba, and I anticipated everyone. I will be the official host for Juve again one more season, and I'm super, super happy. And I said it in a community post, but I want to say it also to you guys. Thank you, because you helped a lot for that. Really, 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 really. Ciao, Azzurri Juve. Dennis, thank you for your message. Thank you for your donation. Let's play the song now. Ale, 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 ale,
Dennis is saying, Allegri is key to winning next year. I will promise you that, or I'm promising, promising you that, he's the most important signing of the last two years. More than DV9, Pogba and Di Maria, I know people will disagree when he left. See what happens. Look, uh, some people will agree, some people will disagree. I believe that last year Allegri did bad. He did bad. We have to be honest with that. He failed, he did some mistake. He was not able to do something with a team that was not his team. You have some coaches that are able to transform a team that are not their team. Allegri is not that type of coach. He's not able to transform a team. He needs a team that is able to be a bit mature, that have the characteristic that he's asking for, also two years at home. But I believe that he wants to take revenge. He wants to take revenge. He wants to have the players. Juventus is going with Allegri. I believe that it can be probably, maybe, potentially the last year of Allegri, because if he fails, he's out. But if he wins, and I believe he wants to go big, if he goes big, my friends, and he wins what he needs to win, he's leaving as a hero. That's what I wish Allegri, that he leaves as a hero. Is it this year? Is it in two years? But I kind of agree that Allegri, he will not make the same year as this year. I'm not promising you that Allegri will suddenly be coming the coach that will offer a lot of entertainment. But I agree on that. Thank you for your donation, Dennis. Softich, aren't we overpaying Zagnolo? Big topic. He's not renewing. Too bad knee injuries. Rama must sell this summer and yet talks about 50 million. Way too much for a player that will leave for 15, 20 next year. <coughs> It's a good topic. It's a right topic. It's a valid question. Uh, Softich, I agree with you. I believe it's a lot of money. It's a lot. If you are able to take a 10 million loan with some agreement, like if he's, if he's broken, we can send him back for 10 million. I will take that risk. Then you never know. We took Roberto Baggio, that also came from Fiorentina with big, immense injuries. At the end, Roberto Baggio scored 115 goals in five seasons. He paid back what we had from Roberto Baggio. That's what I wish Zagnolo to become. I'm not comparing them, of course, but if he can do what uh, Roberto Baggio did in the next five years, you never know. You take a bet, of course. You take a bet. You you take a bet on the player. So we have to pay attention on that. It's true that it's a lot of money. Uh, on the other hand, guys, we have the money. A lot of people were telling us, "Eh, but Beppe, it's not possible. Juventus will never spend 90 million for Higuain." We spend 90 million for Higuain. Eh, but it's not possible that uh, Juventus will spend 100 million for Cristiano Ronaldo. And we paid Cristiano Ronaldo. Eh, but it's not possible. De Ligt, 85 million for a 90 years old. And, and we, now we go, we go back with Di Maria, with Pogba. So the money is there. I, I agree with you that 50 is a lot. But guys, I promise you, huh, he's a good player. He's a good player. I believe that if you go for Zagnolo, it's a risk, but it's a calculated risk. It's not the same risk as with Ramsey. Ramsey, don't forget, huh? we bought him. And after we bought him, after he signed, he had that big injury with Arsenal versus Napoli. Zagnolo is coming from one year where he already played. The two knees, it's okay. I hope so, but I, I, I kind of understand the, the scare and I have to say that probably 35 would have been better, 35, but that's why Juventus will try to go towards uh, max 40, 45. Thank you, Mohamed. Thank you, my, uh, my buddy. Here we fly. Here we fly. Mohamed Youssef, thank you. Congrats again, Mohamed. David, thank you, David, for your donation. And thank you for the really kind words, David. Grande, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Really, really appreciate it. Uh, Rob, shoulder shake, please. Let's do the shoulder shake. Ale, 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 oh. Todo en ultra bianco nero. Edamo, soltato en due color. Beppe, what do you think will happen with Miretti and Fagioli? Well, Miretti, Fagioli and Rovella, they will, the three of them will stay starting the preseason from Sunday. 
they will be judge. The one that is more keen to leave is Ravella, has a lot of market as well, could potentially also be inserted towards Roma. I don't know if they want him or not. They will decide. Um, Miretti and Fagioli, they have big chances to remain. Even if Fagioli today, he was there, some people, they were asking, will you remain Fagioli? And he said, I don't know. I don't know. I'll see. Um, Beppe, I heard Chelsea made a bid for the Ligt. Yes, it's true. Um, and I'm here in Dybala to Manchester United. Beppe, congratulations for your one-year extension. Thank you, Aussie. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for the kind words. Well, two words there. Chelsea make a bid for the Ligt. Yes, they already started with the first one that was really a disgrace. With a 40 million with Werner, Juventus said, no, we only want cash and a lot of money cash if not give us 80 millions plus Jorginho 80 plus Jorginho valued at 30 million Chelsea tried again they tried again I believe it's the third kind of offer they are starting to propose for the Ligt now there is also a bid war with Bayern Munich Bayern Munich they value the player 60 million guy for 60 million then uh thank you thank you goodbye and uh, you stay home Bayern Munich we keep the player because 60 million is a joke so there will be a bid uh, with some clubs United will try I don't believe he will go to United but United will try uh, Chelsea will continue to push and Bayern Munich until a certain until a certain top because otherwise they don't go with all that money Manchester United but uh, they want him I believe there are big chances that he will leave uh, Dybala to Manchester United look Dybala to Manchester United or even to Premier League is something I never believed uh, in why because Dybala uh, he doesn't like uh, England now he's so much in difficulties to find a team where he wants to so in uh, Spain or in Italy because that's the one that he really loves in Spain he was looking for Barcelona Atletico Madrid Real Madrid the three of the big teams they don't want you have Sevilla for three million he doesn't want to go to Sevilla of course in Italy there was Inter and then some signs of Milan he doesn't want to go there so who are the teams uh, or you go to a mid-table team or you go to Monza or you have to go to Premier League so Manchester United I don't know I was reading about it he said no three years ago he really doesn't like the city but I believe that if no or if if Inter is giving up he can go everywhere whatever bigger team is going it can it can, it can happen it can happen uh, thank you Pogba what, thank you for your donation Rocco to glory with an amazing profile picture again he's saying Pogba wants four year at Juventus look I'm happy but he wants I believe guys everything is already done huh? I don't believe that now he will come with some new uh, additions huh? but I think it's a beautiful one his type of people who screwed himself with emotional decision he was fooled by the status it's true Chris, Juve will regret if Rovella will leave. Don't know why, but from all three, I have very good feeling about Rovella. Look, Rovella, I like. Uh, is the one also with the most Serie A experience at Genoa. One year and a half of Genoa as a player. In this year, he started also to play. Unfortunately, he's also the one that is scaring me the most because of injuries. He had a lot of injuries. Half of the season was injured, Rovella. So, if there is one player that I, I would sacrifice is, is Ravella, uh, unfortunately. Look, the problem is that suddenly we have three top Italian talents for the future and they are all playing in the same role. Um, Dr. A, ciao Dr. A, is it true that Juventus made a bit of 45 million for Bremer? That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. I don't believe so. That... Juve is again trying for Bremer, that's true, but I believe that Bremer at the end he will go to Inter. The only thing that is missing is Skriniar going to Paris Saint-Germain. From the moment Skriniar goes, they pay cash for uh, for Bremer because he has an agreement with them uh, since really since really really long. Our offensive uh, our offense is looking better than in many years. I agree with Di Maria, Chiesa, Zagnolo, Pogba, Vlaovic. Allegri got no excuse this season. If we get left or right back this summer, Scudetto is a must. Left back, forget about it. But there is there is uh, news 
and I'm talking about that since long on the channel, I would wait until the 31st of August before saying that Cuadrado is officially a player. They denied, everything is okay, he's happy at the club, and he's super welcome at the club. But with one year of contract, if someone goes with 2 million, 3 million, he's not untouchable, and especially because Juventus, they really want Molina. So if Cuadrado has to leave, you go for Molina on the right side. Uh, left back will not happen. Yeah, Cambiaso. If Pellegrini leaves, Cambiaso stays. If Pellegrini remains, Cambiaso go on loan. But uh, no, forget, guys, we can't do everything. Eh? If you are looking already, we have uh, one center back that will arrive, of course. Obliged. Then you have Gatti. Then you have Pogba. You have Zagnolo. Let's say Zagnolo. You have Di Maria. We already bought Zakaria and Vlaovic. Uh, guys, uh, that's a lot. Huh? Patrick Opuku, he loves Inter. Grande. Ab Ab is just uh, becoming a member on the channel. Grande Ab Ab. Grande Ab Ab. Let's play it. Grande Ab Ab. Really appreciate it. Thank you, buddy. Um, Ciao Giuseppe, buonanotte Giuseppe, Jan van England, Beppe contracts are on your, re congrats on your renewal, we well deserve man 100%, thank you Jan, I really appreciate it, really appreciate it, I'm happy, I'm super happy, because you know, winning a contest is great, um, after six months, because it was six months, because the season already started, being renewed is great, of course, being renewed for another season, so for year two, guys, Ah, that makes me really proud. That makes me really, really, really proud. Um, but they were speaking about tomorrow. Uh, at the moment, I didn't hear uh, about it. Sule must take priority in our youth. But guys, at the moment, Sule, uh, today I saw the, the videos of Sule arriving and so on. I posted the story on Instagram as well. He watched it. You know that sometimes we message with uh, with Matthias and uh, he can't wait to start. Then let's see, uh, first team or not. Uh, but uh, Sule, I believe he will have some playing time this season. So then don't put pressure on the, on the guys. Uh, we will have a total new team and a young team as well. Because don't forget that uh, Chiesa, Zagnolo, uh, these players are young, eh? Gatti, first time in Serie A, so let's not put too much pressure on these kids, give them time to grow, and uh, let's not do mistakes. Miretti, Fagioli, Sule, Rovella are amazing, yeah, but in the middle they are a bit too much. Huh? Um, let me check, Nero, Nero Ghost is speaking to Azzurri Juve, because Azzurri Juve is saying, Beppe, I was in Napoli today, a man selling water said my daughter, couldn't have one because she was wearing her Juve shirt. Uh, she said she wouldn't buy it if it was the last bottle in Italy, her birthday today. So let's say happy, happy birthday to the daughter of Azzurri Juve. Happy birthday to her. And she made the right decision. Look, this is, how can I say? I love Italy. I really love Italy. And I love the banter. I love the banter between... Napoli fans, Juve fans, Juve fans, Inter fans, Milan fans. I love it. I believe that if you don't have the banter between clubs, it would be a bit sad. I love when an Inter fan is making jokes because Juve went out of the Champions League. I love watching the, the memes because I'm angry, but I accept it because I'm also doing it for the other teams. I respect the other teams, but I love the banter. When you're in Italy, you feel the tension between one club and the other in game days, but also when you're running with a, a shirt, especially if you are a Juventino. But there is a limit. There is a limit for everything. And not selling a bottle of water at 40 degrees Celsius to a kid, if you say it in first instant as a joke, why not? But it has to remain a joke of three seconds. Because then, first of all, you're stupid because you're losing money with your own business. And secondly, you're disrespecting uh, people. And that's not okay. In name on football. Football, I always say, yeah, it's the most important thing of the non-important things. What is important? Health. 
happiness, a job, a family. These are important things. Football is the most important of the not important things. Uh, eh. Gatti is a Juventino? No, Gatti is a Torino fan. Gatti, all the family of Gatti is for Torino. Uh, who is my agent? It's not Anton. It's not Anton. Uh, no, I have no agent, guys. I have no, guys. Uh, I'm just Beppe. I have no. Uh, I have no agents. Beppe, um, how much do you think we will sell the league for? I think that uh, we still need to pay. Well, I mean. The value of the Ligt in the books financially of Juve is 34. So if you went to sell him for 35, we win 1 million profit. Okay, of course, we will not sell him for 35. So if you are reading uh, 70 million, that means that you are doing 35 million euro profit. And that's beautiful. That's really beautiful. But no, and no. Because the Licht is 23 in August, so it's still 22. It's a top talent. I need. I think that you have to push at least to 90 million. At least to 90 million without players. And then if you give me a player, you can go with 80 plus a certain player. Why not? But uh, no, no. 90, 90, 90. I agree. Miretti, I've watched him live. What a player, huh? What a player. Uh, I agree with Oleg. The league, 90, 100 million. Yeah. My agent is why my wife. Ah, I, have a, I have a fantastic wife. Huh? She's super happy with me. She's uh, helping me in whatever I need. Uh, she's not helping. No, she doesn't care, but she, she's supporting me. She's giving me a, a mental support. I have a fantastic wife. Uh, Marvin, once when I was younger, I walked through Barca with a Real Ronaldo, Ronaldo shirt. But Barca is different kind of story. You know why? Because Barcelona is also a city where you have so many tourists, but a lot of tourists. They are used to see a Real Madrid shirt and so on and so on. It's different. Spain is different, uh, especially Barcelona and even uh, Real Mad uh, and even Madrid. It's a bit different because uh, there are such big cities where it, it changed a bit. Uh, but of course, if you have the real Barcelona fans, they are not happy. Eh? Um, mark my words, Beppe. The Ligt will stay this season. Our defense will be the Ligt and Koulibaly. Mark my words. But that will be the dream. I said that eh? Koulibaly the Ligt would be fantastic. It's not said, eh? but that's what I was also saying. Eh? It's not said that the Ligt will leave. I believe he will leave. I, I think he will leave. I already think that Juventus already found the center back for the league. Who will it be? Koulibaly, Akanji, Bremer, whatever. But I believe we already have him. We are faking that we don't have the center back. That's what I think. Then I'm not sure. Huh? I think that we are faking that we don't have the center back. Why? So that we can sell the league first. We sell the league first high price, and then we announce the center back. Rocco du Glory is saying the Licht uh, green, gives green light to Bayern. Yes, I was reading that and it's correct, but Bayern, they value him 60 million. If they are disrespecting Juve and the player like that, he will never go there. So they have two choices, or they pay the close of 120, that's double of the value that they gave to the Licht, or they negotiate with Juve, but Juve will not give them away, will not give him away for 60 million. Forget about it. Why? Why? Why 60 million? Guys, if we have a great player, let's sell him how much we want. Bayer don't pay a lot and are used to bullying Bundesliga team. It's true. They will try to use um, the will of the player against us. It will be it will be a long deal. I think that Juventus, they want to go fast on that one. Of course, if it was only Bayern, you have a problem. If it was only Bayern. Because then they have the power. But if it's Chelsea, Manchester United, Bayern on the player, and the player really wants to leave, Juve says, go, look, if you want to go to Bayern, ask them to increase the offer. Or you will not go. You want to go, go to Chelsea. They want to offer us a lot of money. You want to go to Manchester United? They don't have Champions League. Go, because they offer us a lot of money. 
if you really want to go to Bayern or you wait two more years and you go for free or uh, or not or they bring us a lot of money she loves you a lot your life even when you order a new Juventus jersey eh. uh, that's the problem eh? she knows already eh? guys I already have a plan I already have a plan I don't know if you agree or not, but I will go. I already have the home shirt, but I will uh, here with Kellini. You know that, but I will go for the authentic shirt uh, of the new home. I will go for the home with. Who did I say? I forgot. I forgot who I said last time. I forgot the plan. Mamma mia, I already forgot the plan. I will. Uh, uh, and they're saying apparently uh, that Pogba will take the tenner. That Pogba will take the 10. I was thinking he would go for the 8. By the way, watch watch this, guys. This is the, the announcement. The announcement of me uh, extending with Juve. Made by Colo, of course. Uh, Colo the Great. Look at, look at the announcement. Mamma mia. It's amazing. It's the same when he's doing for Zagnolo, Pogba, Di Maria. I love this one is fantastic, but uh, I don't remember what I said. Um, let me check. Let me check if we can find it back, huh? because I said it. By the way, this is Napoli fans that are celebrating the first goal in uh, uh, in preseason. Wait, huh? Mercato is crazy. Always Mercato is crazy. Look, look at that picture. People are doing these kind of Photoshop images. I love that. This is great. Uh, I I don't know where I found it. By the way, they were speaking about... Uh, what is my plan? I forgot my plan. Ah, here. This is my plan. I said, home shirt, Di Maria with the number 10. Pogba with the number 8 in the OA. Third, Koulibaly with the number 3. Zagnolo with the number 22 for the limited shirt. Guys, there are some rumors. I'm not. I don't know. Eh? There are some rumors that are saying that Danilo could go for the number three. Today he signed a lot of things with the number six. There are some rumors that are saying that he could go for the number three. You know that if he's going for the number three of Giorgio Chiellini, you know what that what that means, huh? Number three, and Pogba takes the six. That would be the dream. The dream. No, it was not Alexandro Tarik. Uh, yeah, but seventy is not enough. I don't. I don't believe that Juve will accept seventy. I don't believe so. I agree. Seventy is not enough. Next year they can come with uh, fifty, with sixty, because it will have one more year. I have no problem, guys. It just. It just. Then. I don't know what can happen, but Skriniar that has one more year of contract and that is a lot much older, Paris Saint-Germain, there are between 60 and 70 million euro for an old player from Inter. Don't tell me that you can't sell the league for at least 80, 90. Eh. Then if Bayern, they don't want to spend, don't come to Juve. Don't come. It's as easy as that. If you are not able to spend, don't come. It's like Juventus. Juventus, they don't go to Paris Saint-Germain for Mbappé. They know that they can't buy Mbappé, so you don't go. It's like me. I don't go to Maserati, to the garage, and I watch the cars, and I said, how much is the price of Maserati? Because you know or, that it's not possible. You can't pay a Maserati. You can rent a Maserati for one day. You can take some pictures. You can do whatever. You can look like you are rich. But the reality is not. you are not rich. So that's the same. If Bayern, they are rich and they have the money, they buy the list. Otherwise, they don't join. It's as, as easy as that. It works in every, every sector. Eh? Closest, the same. I don't go to a Louis Vuitton for a bag for my wife. I go to a, a, a bit cheaper. Uh, guys. I'm not rich, huh? Uh, Beppe, free agent next summer. We should sell you now. Hey, they should sell me now. But uh, no, I can't. Huh? But it's always like uh, some people were asking one why only one year. It's always one season. For people that are in media at Juve, it's all, always one year. Or at least uh, that's what they told me. Maybe they are lying. No. Um, 
That's it, guys. That's it. Uh... Marvin, if I would be Matas and see what uh, they build around me, I would make a longer contract. Uh, yes, yes, but, and that's what I was a bit explaining a bit with Marco, the problem with Delict, I believe he, he doesn't want to leave Juve or Torino, the city. He wants to leave Serie A because, guys, I love Serie A and I will always love Serie A. But Serie A, if you want serious talk, they made some calculation, stats, really calculations, that in, from, from now on, and up to 12 years, they need up to 12 years until Premier League eats all the rest of the leagues. It will become like NBA. NBA. What is NBA? Italy in basketball, Spain in basketball, France in basketball, they are producers of talents. They produce some talents and then they send them to NBA. The only important thing in basketball, the dream of everyone, is NBA. And this is what is happening with Premier League. Everyone wants to go to Premier League. And they need only 12 years to eat everyone up. Why? Because you heard about the new fair play financiario. Uh, the financial fair play rules. What is it? They change the rule so that now the teams, they can spend up to 70% of what they earn. So if you earn 100 euro, 100 dollar, whatever, you can spend 70 dollar. Great. It's nice. They are saying we do that for everyone so that it is fair. The, everyone, they need to work on their entries and then they can spend more, but everyone is able to spend up to 70% of their entries. Looks fair, but it's not fair because today, today, Premier League, they are already earning four times what Serie A is earning today. So if you make a calculation, when let's say Serie A is able to spend 100 euro, Premier League is able to spend 400 euro. But if you are able to spend 400 euro and Serie A is able to spend 100 euro, of course you are acquiring the best talents. If you have the best talents, you become stronger. If you are stronger, you are starting to win more. If a lot of teams have stronger players, like Botman, for example, is going to Newcastle instead of Milan. Newcastle instead of Milan. The league is becoming more and more and more better. Instead of five champions of Premier League, you will have 20 champions of Premier League. So they will have more television rights, more broadcast, more sponsors, more visibility. So they will have more revenues. That means that they will have more to spend. Instead, Serie A, but I'm speaking about Serie A, but it's the same with Bundesliga, with La Liga and with Liga. Serie A that was at the moment earning four times less, they will have less sponsors, less entries, less this, less that. And at the end, in 12 years, I believe, I don't remember by heart, but I believe that in 12 years, Premier League will earn like, uh, now it's four, in the future will be like uh, eight, ten times what, what the Serie A is winning. And you will not be able to compete at all anymore, unless there is a change. Unless there is a big dramatical change, for example, salary cap for every single team, the same salary cap, the, and so on and so on. Or what I said since the beginning, but people, they were unsubscribing on the channel because I dare to say it, a Super League system where the Super League would regulate everyone and will level everyone in terms of 
entries, in terms of salary roof, in terms of how much you can spend and so on and so on, where for a player it will be attractive to be in the Super League in a Spanish team, in a French team, in a German team, in an English team or an Italian team, whatever. But if they are playing that Super League, don't forget that they are also playing the Serie A, the French League and so on and so on, but whatever. And you have really easy changes between the league of the players because it's not important where in what league you are playing because you will earn a max of the same money. Uh, I said it since the beginning, but people were pissed off. Uh, this is what it is, guys. If you have, again, a share of best players of the world, you have, again, more attention to your league. You have television right and so on and so on. Uh, guys, it's the truth. If not, we are dead. And a Delicht is not a stupid person. He's not leaving, he's not leaving uh, Juventus, he's leaving Serie A. And this will happen to a lot of players if we are not able to compete. Guys, Juventus, they tried to compete with Manchester City, Paris Saint-Germain, Bayern Munich, Real Madrid, uh, with Ronaldo. Because of becoming a bigger club, having new entries that were not enough in Italy, so going internationally... That's what Juventus tried to do. We were really, really, really unlucky with COVID. We made our own mistakes. For two years, we had difficulties. Juventus is not giving up. And this is something that I said in the past, and I'm repeating also today. I don't know how many of these players we will sign. They are speaking about Pogba Di Maria. They are speaking about Koulibaly, about Zagnolo, about a lot of players. You can't change everything, but if you are able already to spend 80 million for Vlaovic and you are continuing be with these big teams you are showing them a project it's because Juventus they didn't give up absolutely not and this is something that is reassuring me if I'm reading the three pages of Arriva Bene it's reassuring me am I promising you that everything will be okay and that we will win the Champions League in the next five years no I can't promise you because I don't know the future but I know that until it's possible, until we have to give up and put our weapons on the ground, Juventus will fight. And this is a positive news. Uh, hey guys, uh, there is... But people are saying, don't get into the Super League. Guys, the Super League already exists. The problem is that it's not a European Super League where everyone can participate. It's an English Premier League. And that's the Premier League. This is the Super League. Ciao, Aiki. Ciao, my friend. Yes, when a Serie A team... And I'm not even defending Juve this time. I'm speaking about the whole Serie A. I'm speaking about uh, Bundesliga. I'm speaking... Except of Bayern Munich. Uh, I'm speaking about... Liga, I'm speaking about the Polish Liga, but I speak about everyone. It's a disaster. When a Serie A team wants to buy one million player, the Premier League can spend eight times of the amount. It's true. It's true. Uh, that's why Pogba has my heart. But, but, but uh, Pogba has always uh, also my heart. Uh, he has chosen the heart instead of the money. He could have gone to Paris Saint Germain. He preferred the project of Juve. Uh, then, of course, he will have to conquer the heart of the people also on the field because the gesture is beautiful now show it also on the field hey it was a really great one it was a i had a lot of fun kostic is parked huh? we we have to wait we have to wait do you like the trend of american uh ownership in seria um but I'm a traditional person in terms of I would love to see the the families still on top of Serie A. Uh, but I have no problems with new investors, a lot of American people. The problem is not the owners of the club. Because uh, Rocco Comiso, he wants to grow with Fiorentina, but he's saying the same. The problem is not, okay, Rocco is Rocco. The problem is not Rocco. The problem is the Italian Federation, the people th that are there that do not want to change. <laughs> Sorry, it's late now. It's two hours five of lives. 
they don't want to do any change to Serie A because they are happy with the bid. They don't want, don't want to take a, a lot of risk. So you can have all the investors that you want. They will try to grow their own team, but it will change nothing. In Premier League, they have a manual. I'm not joking. I, maybe you don't know that. Huh? Let me know if you know that or not. They have a manual with 600 pages of rules about the Premier League that they all have to sign. <laughs> Otherwise, you are not able to participate to Premier League. And what, for example, a rule of these 600 pages, there is a chart that is explaining the right color of the grass of the field. So every single team in Premier League, they need to have the same color of the grass. Guys, you are joking. You are telling me bad, but you are crazy. Or they are crazy, the Premier League. Guys, the Premier League, they did really well. Because at least when you are watching, you are selling a product. People are complaining that Arriva Ben and Agnelli, they are watching Juve as a business. Guys, it is a business. Premier League is a business. Formula One is a business. It is business. If you want to grow, it is business. Having the same color of every field, it is a recognizable product that you are selling. You are selling Premier League and they are working. If today Premier League is the best league of the world, it started from the moment that they have put all the ultras from the stands, they put them away. It took a long time, but they grew and that was the moment. So I have no problem with American ownership. I have problem with uh, who's managing the Serie A. Um, and the same with uh, Palermo, great for them, but uh, let's see. Manchester City, they didn't invest in all the other teams they have. Huh? They manage a bit, they give a bit of money, but they are not making the new Manchester City. Forget about that. Huh? Forget about that. It's not the new Manchester City. A lot of people got excited. I don't believe it. Except of uh, miracles. I don't believe it. <sighs> of course they have other problems, but it starts somewhere, guys. It's not the color of the grass that is important. It's the fact that you have 600 pages of rules that you have to respect. In Italy, they go and they fight. They fight. In the meetings, they fight. And then they take a, a moto and they go away and they said, uh, siete tutte delle merde. Uh, and uh, De Laurenti is screaming, you're all shit guys. And this is, this is the entertainment that you have in Italy. Instead of having construct constructive feedback, and working in a meeting to find the best for Serie A, because what they don't understand, if you work on Serie A today, all together, all the clubs, if you work on a product of Serie A, on middle, long term, all the teams will benefit from it. If you are working only for your club and you're working only for your own interest, you will win short terms. And this is one of the problems of a lot of presidents of Serie A. This is the problem of also of the leaders of Federazione Italiana Gioco Calcio, that they are t thinking only about their own interest short term because they say, I don't know, I have five years of mandate and then I will be gone. So I will make sure that these five years they are okay and I will not put a lot of changes, not taking any risk. I will win some money. I will be seen as someone that did okay. I think you have to stop buying purses for your wife uh, at the gay station. Hey, in indeed. This is why British ruled my country over 200 years and they have a good at bit business and marketing. They can do everything when we are talking about money. Uh, Italy is too emotional, which is a positive and a negative ball as well. Eh? Uh, Kilian, City koopt alleen Palermo voor hun eigen jeugdervaring uh, op te brengen. Can be, eh? uh, Kilian is saying that the City is buying Palermo only for the development of their own youth. Uh, also, because then they have, you know, these kind of teams, satellite, satellite teams that they are using uh, ever in Europe, can be. Guys, two hours and ten of life. We had a really great, really, really great moment with Marco that stayed for 90 minutes together with us. A uh, game of football. He stayed with us a game of football. Let me check if we have uh, breaking news. Otherwise, we start saying goodbye. Huh? We have some breaking news. Let me read all of them. Di Marzio. 
There was an interim meeting, so an in-between meeting today, between the agent of Daniolo and Roma. The agent did not present any concrete offer to the Giallo Rossi, so Juventus is trying to understand. Romeo Agresti saying Di Maria could arrive in Torino on Friday. I love that news. I love that news. Uh, tomorrow, there will be a meeting between Juve and Roma for Zagnolo. This is the version of Alfredo Bedula. Ranocchia is also liked by Torino, but let's see how the meeting will go. So there is a Ranocchia midfielder that is still not on loan. They were speaking about Vicenza, but maybe now that they lost Mandragora, Ranocchia can go to Torino. Let's see if that will open the door for new negotiation and for Bremer. Who knows? Matthias de Ligt is followed by uh, Chelsea. We knew that. And Bayern Munich. In the next hours, the offers could arrive. Gabriel from Arsenal is being considered to replace the Dutchman. Uh, Ar I believe if it's Gabriel, it's because Arthur is going to Arsenal. Moiskin would like to return to Paris Saint-Germain. Keep an eye on an exchange with Paredes that could become concrete in a matter of weeks. And then the last news, there was a meeting today for Tommaso Mancini from 2004, the Vincenza, Vincenza striker between Bozzo and Milan. An interest from Juventus should be noted as well. But it's a 2004 player Mancini uh, from Vincenza where Juventus is thinking about for uh, the youth, but this is not for today. Um, hey, it was great, huh? I I agree. It was great today. A bit more serious, huh? Because it's true. Yeah, that, that's the last last topic. Now that we are again three hundred people, uh, it's true that the last lives. Uh, I had a lot of fun. I had a lot of fun. It was a bit less serious talk. Why? Because Mercato. I told you, it's crazy. It's for fun. It's having fun together. Uh, there are no football. There is no football at the moment. So what do you want to speak about? You speak about Mercato. Then you see a news. Hey, it's coming. And you got excited. And you make a dance. You, sp you play some music. At the end, it's some fun together giving the updates. But you can give the update and you can be really depressive or you can have fun. It's true that it looked a bit less serious. But also, don't forget, I'm doing the morning videos where it's a bit more serious. Really report a lot of editing. Probably I will try to go a bit lower with the quantities of edits, because you maybe you don't realize, but going from one edit to the other, adding the music, uh, it's uh, making the, the images smaller, bigger, cropping, uh, adding a player, make it's taking really a long time, too long. Uh, so maybe I should go back to a bit uh, less editing and uh, at least I can do two videos a day uh, and then a live in the, in the evening. But um you have some moments, I said it always, huh? you have information and entertainment of the channel. It's good to mix. But today was great between some laughs, but also some football talks, not alone and together with you. Um, I never understood how the management are working before, uh, thanks to you, Beppe. But the management, they are always working in different ways. Huh? Depends which management also. Huh? You have vertical uh, ways of working. You have horizontal ways of working. Juventus came from a vertical with Marotta, Paratici, and then you had the other uh, services. They went for a horizontal where you had the chief officer of finances. You have the sporting director that was Paratici. You had someone else for uh, marketing, I believe. Now again with Arriva Bene that is taking care of all of them. It's again more vertical. So you have so many things. It depends. It depends. It depends. So, guys. Sahi, I am inviting everyone on the channel to uh, to Israel for the game of Juventus and Atletico. That has not been confirmed yet, but uh, can be. Bernard to Toronto, Fabrizio Romano, mamma mia, Bernardeschi. That would be beautiful. I would, uh, I would be happy. Maybe we have to do a small section like uh, uh, G just Toronto for our players uh, that went to uh, the Italian players that went to Canada. The football season was a bit depressing for us. The mercato is a bit more fun. Buonanotte a tutti. Ciao. Ciao, guys. Uh, and we see each other tomorrow. Tomorrow, Wednesday. Di Maria, they are telling us that he will arrive uh, on uh, Friday. Saturday, Pogba. Pa, 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 pa. Uh,
20. Beppe, can you ask and get help for uh, that editing? Maybe someone will help you. But uh, the overlays, you know, like uh, the frame that you see here with the new graphics for the away shirt, uh, like this and so on. It's my friend Aman that is doing them for me. Then, of course, the video, I'm doing everything myself. I, but I have to put it uh, smaller, bigger, blah, blah, blah. It takes a lot of time. If I have to send a video to someone waiting that he's doing the edits and so on, uh, will take even longer, l even longer. So I do myself, uh, but I have to just reduce it a bit. Uh, you know, one day, one day maybe with uh, one video a day, it will be enough. And uh, at the moment, no. Buona notte, Rocco. Buona notte, Ibrahim. Ciao, Marvin. Ciao, Mohamed. I have a difficulty saying goodbye to people. Ciao, maximum of like. I don't know if we hit them. Uh, I made so many bets with Marco today. Put a maximum of like. We see each other. Grande forza. Juve. Ciao.